Uh, it's a challenging old school narrative RPG set in an open world. So, uh, Fable Lands is, is fascinating to me. I've, I was not aware of what Fable Lands was before playing the uh, the early access version of this. Uh, apparently, it's sort of like a it's, a it's a set of books originally, and it's 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 an open world RPG but with books. And there's there I guess there is a, I'm sure there's a story that goes along with it. But if you want, um, it's very open ended, and you can you can just leave that part of the world you get the next book and you go to the next part of the world and it's from what i understand what I've, I've watched some videos on it's not the game but on the books and it sounds in incredible and I, I i've been meaning to go and, and get the books and check it out i never did um but we have a game now and the game by prime games here it's the same thing it's the same set there's like six books or something like that and each book is a different region in the world uh, and they're all here now. This game is in early access as of last year, and now as of well this year, uh, it's at full release here on the 26th uh, of this month. So we got a little bit early look, early look here. But when I play the the demo of this thing, or my my either the demo or or early access look at the thing, which I think was just the first parts of the book of the books, um, I I loved it. It was great. It's very it's very narrative heavy. So. Um, Prepare for some storytelling. It's storytelling day here on the on the channel, and um, think of this as like you know a fantasy RPG. We're gonna bounce from place to place. We'll go to towns. We'll go into the woods. We'll go we'll walk on a road and find a caravan that's been tipped over, and kind of uh, ch make choices. Choose your own adventure. Roll some dice, and see where it takes us we'll pick up some quests along the way we can do those quests if we wish we can go somewhere else which is i guess how the books play out very open-ended is, is the, the theme of the books we have may 26th there our access is done and um again i've been looking forward to playing this uh this full release thing and so we're gonna do that today so yeah get your hot mugs of cocoa get your uh get your tea and uh <laughs> we're gonna play some fabled lands so there we go, by, by British authors Dave Morris and Jamie Thompson. Uh, stand, it's now a standalone PC game on Steam by uh, Old Victor and Team. So let's try out a new game here and see what we can do. Now, I'm, I guess the best way of, if you're not sure what we're getting into here, which this is di certainly different than things I have played before. Um, but I guess think of this as uh, we're, we're playing sort of a fantasy RPG, a D&D, &D, if you wish. You're choosing your character and you're running, running the world. Um, and the, the, um, whatever choices you make will lead you a certain direction, if that makes any sense. That didn't make any sense, I'm sorry. Uh, we have a mage, we have the warrior, we have mage, we have a priest, we have a rogue, a wayfarer, a troubadour, back to a warrior. I think I'm going to go with, um, let's go with a rogue. I think I did wayfarer last time. I, I was going to do... I was going to do either Troubadour or Mage is what I was originally leaning on. I don't know. You're an outcast by choice, shunned your, shunning your native land and the family who spurned you, driven by a burning desire for secret knowledge. Your goal is to become one of the mightiest wizards of the world and nothing will stand in your way. For now, you're looking for the Gold Dust Tavern of Yellowport, where adventure awaits. Uh, another thing about this game, uh, which uh, maybe that's why I like it so much, I really like games that where, where you are not... You know, the chosen one, and you're not some, you're not some hero that's gonna come and save the day. You're a nobody, and um, eventually, well, maybe we won't be a nobody, but you start out kind of a nobody. You know, a bear will tear my face off, that kind of a thing. My name is Nook, and I am a boy, a boy mage. I can have different hair. Yeah, yeah. Let's get some, uh, some good. Is that Will Riker? We'll go with a Riker look. My staff. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't want some peewee stick. I want a stick. And I'm going to have... What's my... What's the artifact? Oh, I think my my, uh, my belt here. We're going to have a board cube on my on my hip. And my book is going to look... The more tattered, the better. Yeah, 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 that one. Okay, uh, my abilities are Lightning Strike and Ice Bolt. Uh, we do get the combat, that kind of thing. And uh, make yeah yeah number one no 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 number three <laughs> uh, or so we can go with uh, explorer mode classic mode or Iron Man mode Iron Man mode you know we die game over uh, well actually we die game over anyway this one we can have saves uh, 
Uh, we'll stick with classic mode. I think it's fine. The classic Fable Land experience. Sure. Anyone in chat, uh, or if it's one of those goes to YouTube, anyone in the comments, if you've played or, or read the books or played the books, or however, you, however you say it, let me know because I'm I'm very curious about it, and I need to, I need to go find them. If you find a place to buy the books, let me know. I need to go. Get, I need to get them because from everything I've seen about it, it's a neat, a really neat idea. It's like a choose your own adventure. Advanced style. The approach of dawn has turned the sky a milky gray green like jade. The sea is a luminous pane of silver holding the tiller of your sailing boat. You keep your gaze fixed on the glittering constellation known as the spider. It marks the north, but keeping it to your port, you know you're still on course. The sun appears in a trembling burst of red fire at the rim of the world. Slowly, the chill of night gives way to brazen warmth. You lick your parched lips. There's little water sploshing in the bottom, sloshing in the bottom of the barrel by your feet, but not enough to see you through another day. Sealed in a scroll case tucked into your jerkin is a parchment map your grandfather gave you on his deathbed. You're remembering his stirring tales of far sea voyages, of kingdoms beyond the western horizon, of sorcerous islands and ruined palaces filled with treasure. As a child, you dreamed of nothing else but the magical quests you were that were in store for you uh, if you were to become an adventurer. You never expected to die in an open boat before your adventures began. Let's, we're battled and bedraggled. We lie gasping for breath until you hear someone walking along along the shore towards you. Wary of danger, you lose no time in getting to your feet. Confronting you is an old man clad in dirty loincloth. His eyes have a feverish bright look that is suggestive of either a mystic or a madman. Well, what have we here, friends? Asks the old man. We seems to be talking to someone next to him, although you're certain he's alone. Looks like a washed up adventurer to me, he says in answer to his own questions, all wet and out of luck. He carries on having a conversation, a conversation that quickly turns into a heated debate. He's clearly quite mad. Excuse me, you shout at the above the hubbub in an attempt to grab the old man's attention. He stops and stares at you. Is this the Isle of the Druids, you ask? Indeed it is, says the old man. So at the Isle of the Druids, I think is, is book one. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Yeah, it does sound like something Burns would be into. Yeah, you're right. Uh, indeed it is, says the old man. I see that you are from a far land, so it is up to me to welcome you to Harkuna. But I think you may have much to do here, as it is written in the stars that someone like you would come. Your destiny awaits you. Follow me, young adventurer. We're sort of the chosen one. <laughs> the old man turns smartly about and begins walking up a path towards some hills. You can just see some sort of monolithic stone structure atop one of them. Okay, so I, uh, I've i been through this a little bit before. This was the early intro to the early access before. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of do this on my own. I know what I'm doing, and I will uh, get us into the game. We're on Tutorial Island at the moment. And we'll get off of Tutorial Island and go like, properly explore the, the world. Um, we have a request for a dad joke here in chat, though, so uh, I'll get you one. Um, you know, so those of you here in chat and watching here live on Twitch, you know I've always had some issues with internet connection. My internet connection is always, always something wrong with it. Once I finally get it fixed, always something wrong again. And finally, I finally figured it out. Um, I took my, my router uh, out into the barn and by putting it in the barn everything was great and uh you you could say dramatic pause i now have stable wi-fi sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry uh you want to explore the coast on your own and you believe you have quite sensible reasons to do so yeah yeah let's make a move all right. Who knows? You may be the yeah. Maybe I'm the choice. I'm the one hundredth chosen one. You're right. 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 This week. What do you mean, nay, nook, nay? <laughs> All right. So uh, again, open world. We have we have no quest. I'll give a look of everything we have here. No quest at the moment. Um, my manifest on my ship. I can go out. A lot of things we can do in the game here. I, and even in the books, you can do the same thing. You, you can like you can have a house. You can I think you can, like build like a. Um, um, like a not a castle, but like a, a a proper place to live or whatever. You can buy a boat uh, and sail around. It's also things that are in the book as well. Well, they're here as well. Um, we'll get there eventually. We have a help menu. We have an option menu. Uh, we have my skills and spells. We know ice bolt and lightning strike. Uh, I'll learn some new spells. That's uh, troubadour spells. We don't want those. Um, we are a mage. Uh, we can also go look at my character sheet over here. There's me, Will. Uh, I got a uh, leather armor. I've got myself a stick. And that's about it. Um, and my stats are all over here. 
Uh, and then I've got my, uh, my, my last text that popped up last time. So we click over here and look at the world map, which I think we do that here. There we go. So we're done here in this little island of, of druids. And we're going to make our way over to the west into the grand world, eventually. So we're hitting we're over here on this side. And I guess it's the same thing that's in the books as well. All right. So let's go scurry on over to the forest, I suppose. What better way to go than the forest? Trees are closely packed, leaning together as if in conference, whispering quietly amongst themselves. Birds twitter in the distance, and slivers of sunlight lance down into the musty gloom. As you proceed along the forest track, you think you hear a rustling in the bushes. Later, you spot a shadowy figure darting through the trees, or was it your imagination? An animal snuffing sound right behind you makes you spin around, but there's nothing there. Let's do a scouting roll. So we need a five. We're going to roll the dice. I... Oh, no, we need a... 10, and I'm a 5, is what that's trying to tell me. So, uh, let's roll the dice. Hey, steak has it going. We got it. Success. Let's take a look. You struggle deeper into the forest until you come to a thick wall of impenetrable thorn bushes. Circling it, you find there is a break in the hedge, but it is filled by a large tree. To your surprise, a face forms in the trunk and speaks in a woody voice. None can pass. Be gone, human. I can attack the tree. I can persuade it to let me pass, or I can go to the nearest element. Let's try to persuade it. Explain what a tree lover you are, and that your heart has always been at home in the forests. You portray yourself as the greenest adventurer ever. We need a good roll for this one. Odds of success, bad. Oh, we got it! I use my successful charisma roll and tell this guy. Well, I suppose I could let one such as you through, says the tree thoughtfully. Then it uproots itself with a great tearing sound and shuffles out of the way. There you go, says the tree. You may pass. You walk through the thorn bush gate. Beyond you find several huge oak trees whose branches are so big that they are able to support the homes of many people. We found the city of trees. Alright. Welcome to the city of trees, says a passing woman dressed in the garb of a druid. The city has been built amid the branches of several mighty oaks. Ladders run up and down the trees to house... Uh, houses that perch like nests in the branches. You are not allowed into any houses, but the druids allow you to barter at the market. So this is basically how the city screen works. So every time we go to some different city, we'll get this screen here. We can go to the druid leader or the market. Uh, last time I got this, I got here. I failed, so I didn't get to see this place. Um, I, don't know, I got 16 bucks, so I'm not going to do anything here. You know, we can, But we can buy uh, a scroll of Animal Companion, for instance. Um some rope, but I don't have anything, so. Let's go look at the druid leader. You're brought before the druid's leader, the oak druid, bearded fellow with earth and leaves all tangled up in his hair. He asks you to perform a service for them. Take this oak staff to the willow druid in the forest of Larum. Sacred grove where he lives will be hard to find, but I'm sure you can do it. The willow druid will give you something back to bring back to me. When you return with it, I will make your techniques of tracking and your wilderness lore better. Sure, where are you going? The forest of Larun. Yeah, 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 give me that. Okay. Welcome to the trees. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's get let's get out of here. We have a first quest. Um, so I know we need to get out of this place. Uh, and we're gonna go to the other world. So let's go let's go over there. Always buy rope. Nah, ropes for ropes for chumps. Um, I'll show you the town screen in a minute. It's the other town screen. Narrow path leads up a hill to the top of which is crowned with a circle of large obsidian standing stones, hewn from solid rock. Despite the bitter wind that blows across the hills, the stones are unweathered and seem to uh, and see but newly lain they form three archways each carved with mystic symbols and runes of power there are three stone gates engraved with ancient ruins each ma gate marked with the name yellow port marlock city and wishport so we can go through the archways to go into out of tutorial land into mainland i'm very curious also for those of you that have played this the book form of this game uh how similar this is to the books is it the same story as the books or is this all new stuff you intend to step through one of the archways. We can go to Yellowport, Marlock City, or Wishport. Now, we don't know where we're going for this quest. This one. So, we actually don't know where, where Laroon is. Uh, can we look on here and find it? It says it's kind of hidden. But there's Yellowport, Marlock, and... Oh, it's right there. Ha! We do know where it is. So, we want to go to... Let's go to Marlock. That sounds like a happy place. You step through the archway. Immediately, the symbols of the stone begin to glow with red-hot energy. Your hair, stand, hair stands on end and your body tingles. And we jump through. If we'd gone to town, um, 
in the town we can we have like a we have a, uh, a house we could also like charter a boat to come over here we can buy our own boat if we want as well burns i think we talked about this before when i played this before in maybe in discord about this burns just played one of the books when your sight returns you find yourself outside the gate of a huge fortified city a guard starts in surprise at the sight of you he shakes his head as if to clear it sure he must have imagined what he just saw the gates open and a troop of heavy cavalry canter past Make way for the Marlock City Militia, says the guard. When they have passed, you walk into the city. Okay, so here's our city screen here. Um, so, um, we, we can go to any of these places over here. And, like, there's a market. We have our own home stash. You can buy a townhouse in Marlock for 200 shards. Owning a house gives you a place to store equipment. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, the other time, I know we'll get it for free, actually. <clears throat> this seems more in-depth and descriptive. Interesting. So we got a huge strong metropolis, fortified wall, yada, 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 yada. Uh, grieve. Until General Grieve Marlock led the army in bloody revolt against the old King Corin VII. Had him executed. He renamed himself. All right. Oh, this is okay. Old King was corrupt. The general rules with a fist of iron. Some people like the new regime. Others are royalists still loyal to Nurgen, the heir to the throne, who has gone hiding somewhere. Outside the city gates hang the bodies of many dead people. Labels around their necks read rebels issued by the state for the good of the people. You best behave yourself if you don't want to end up like one of them, greets a guardman, nodding towards the swinging corpses as you pass through the great city, eagle-headed gates of the Marlock City. To leave Marlock City by sea or by, go by ships, go to Harbor Mountain, go, yeah, 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 yeah. To leave, go here, buy or sell ships, cargo, go there, gotcha. So yeah, we can do this, and in the harbor... We can get a passage to Yellowport. We can get a passage to Wishport. We can buy a boat. Uh, we can pick up some cargo and do like a, we can. I guess we can just play the trading game if we want. We can hire some crew as well uh, if we want to buy a boat. But we're not in the room for that right now. Let's go stop by. Let's just explore the town. Take a stroll through the streets of Marlock City. It's teem with people. Um, let's go to the residential quarter. Come across a blazing house in the poor area of town. A crowd has gathered, watching the flames impassively. A young girl runs up to you in tears. My mother is inside. Please, please help her, she begs. The fire is raging hard, and you are not sure whether anyone could be left alive and said, let's get in there. Let's save the day. You charge into the burning building in search of the child's mother. You see her lying unconscious at the bottom of the stairs. Desperately, you try to get her back, uh, get to her, but a burning beam has fallen across your way, and the smoke is making you choke. Let's roll. Six. We got a little unlucky. We were one roll away from lucky. You're forced back by the flames. Some townsfolk covered in wet blankets manage to get the woman out. They are treated like heroes. You are forgot. <laughs> you are forgotten. Such is life. <laughs> okay. Great. Uh, we have a temple here. There's a whole system of, uh, of gods. And you may have noticed in that last one we could have asked for a blessing. We'll pick up a god and we can, we can ask for blessings, which is basically like a, um, a mulligan point. So we can re-roll things. Um, and all the different gods are gods of other things. Uh, various things. Capital city of Sakura has three large temples nesting in different locations on the streets. It has one of a kind, one of a kind house of priests, which functions as the administration of the polytheistic religion of Sakura and Golnir. So we got the house of priests. Um, ten shards. That's a contribution to, to enter. No, no, no. Uh, I want to go. Let's go visit the temple of Elnir. So Elnir, a single spire reaching skywards, eagles roost in its lofty belfry. They are sacred to the priests of the Sky Lord. Elnir is the divine ruler of the heavens, patron of the statesmen and kings, sons of the Storm Lords. Thunder is the sound of the sons of Elnir smiting the cloud demons. All right. So we can go become initiates if we want. Um, we have Alvir and Valmir. Divine rulers of the House of Sea is right on the teeming harbor of Marlock City. Its green sea, sea green marbled porticos are draped in hundred silver nets. They rule the waves. These are the, these are the wave people. Uh, we've got... Who else is here? Wrong one. We have Sig. Sig the Cunning, patron of vagabonds, troubadours, lovers, thieves, and rogues. Ramshackle warehouse in the poor quarter. So much wealth that it makes you gasp. The idol of Sig's saturnine, two-faced young human of indeterminate sex is covered in gems. As you can see, we've been made rich by generous donations, says a black-robed priest. No, no thanks. We'll figure that out later on. We have a trade guild as well. Merchant Guild of Marlock City is large, many-storied building of marble inside. Many clerks and scribes are at work. 
I can bank my money there. I think what I want to do, we have a quest, so I think we, we, we go do it. Let's leave the town here, and let's go. We want to go to this up here, right? Somewhere up this way? Yeah. Right there. So, let's go, uh, we'll, we'll venture by Trefoil here. The main road between Marlock City, Trefoil, and Karan Baru is well maintained with regular guard posts. The Sakharans are nothing if not efficient. I guess we're going to roll the dice. We roll a one, which is typically a bad thing. So there's our luck blessing if we got the blessing. Um, bad omen. Lose one blessing. I didn't have one. Okay. So no, no big deal. Uh, city of Trefoil. Okay, city. A terrifying vision of apocalyptic destruction. It had once been a thriving crossroads town, but now is a burnout hook. Almost raised to the ground when it declared, it declared for the late king during the recent civil war and tried to hold out against the army of Grieve Marlock, the current protector of Saqqara. It was then sacked by the general's mercenaries and General Marlock is now trying to rebuild it. Craftsmen are hard work everywhere. Nothing but ashes and rubble here. What a happy place. Let's go to the Road Tavern. Join the must-traveled road uh, to connect the Trefoil to... Uh, or is it Trefoil? Uh, in Karan Baru. The traffic mostly consists of convoys of troops and supplies. We come to the Weary Pilgrim Tavern. Way station between the cities. Tavern costs me one shard a day. I can recover some stamina if if I wish, but uh, I don't have any bad stamina, so I'm going to go keep on going into the forest of Laroon. A mighty swath of densely packed trees, a slice of primordial nature in the middle of a busy industrial Saqqara. You thread your way through the ranks of trees in places the forest canopy almost blocks out the sunlight completely. You're wandering in deep shadow, haunted by the cries of the creatures of the forest. Well, I have the oak staff. I'm going to seek the willow druid. You're on a quest. Take the oak staff to the willow druid who lives in a sacred grove somewhere in the forest. You wander around looking for unusual tracks, strange creatures, or anything that might lead to the druid's den. Let's go look. We failed by one. Much to your embarrassment, you get lost. I wander for days. You wander around for days until you finally emerge in the Bronze Hills. You're walking through Bronze Hills virtually... The whole area has been given over to mining. Everywhere, the quarries and mine shafts abound. It's a horrible expanse of torn-up earth. Hardly any areas of green are left. Great heaps of excavated rock leached of their useful materials, minerals, mar the landscape. You find a quarry that is open to the public. That is to say, if you pay 50 shards, you can dig for an hour and silver mine. Oh, I don't have that. I walked out of the... I'm going back in the forest. Uh, I'm going back. <laughs> I have a quest. I'm going to do it. Let's just venture deep into the forest. I'm going to hack my way through the undergrowth. Until you stumble across an old ruin. Creepers and forest moss have grown over most of it, but you can see mask-like faces set into the walls, glaring down at you as if an angry outrage of your intrusion. Come to a massive stone slab. Clearly a door. Set into the middle of it is a round granite face, the visage of a sleeping demon. Suddenly an eye pops open and regards you curiously. By the tentacles of Tentalon, exclaims the face in a gravelly voice, a human. I haven't seen one of you a lot for a hundred years. An expression of suspicion forms on his rocky features. What do you want, anyway? Just pass through, you comment airily. Well, you can't pass through me unless you know the password. And that was given to me by Astralis, the Wizard King. Let me see, now, a thousand years ago by Ebron. This is his tomb, you know. How do I find it? How do you find the password? You ask. Yeah, well, I ask. Well, said the demon door, Astralis was a wizard. Why don't you ask some wizards? Where would I find the wizards? How would I know, replies the door. I've been stuck here for a thousand years. I'm starting to think this uh, this forest is no of no use. Rose nearly blocked by wagons and supply convoys. A troop of soldiers forces its way through the throng. The head, the men bangs, the men bang heads and indiscriminate, indiscriminately to clear people out of the way. All right, I'm mistaken for a beggar. Mistaken for a beggar and receive ten shards, ten shards from passing priest. Excellent. Excellent. I now have 26 shards. Uh, Lake of the Sea Dragon. We can go there. That sounds exciting. Um, interesting that these have question marks and these don't. Does that mean something? I think. Praise on Tintin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Doesn't anything there. 
I'm gonna go buy a better outfit. That's right. I was gonna go, let's go to the Lake of the Sea Dragon. That sounds enchanting. You are up the stinking river. Yeah, that wasn't listed in the, in, on the map. Uh, near its source, the Lake of the Sea Dragon. From here, the yellow waters rush down to the sea. The smell of the bubbling, sulfur-laden water is abominable. The shores of the lake are swept by ochre waves, and the air smells foul. A sickly green, pale green seaweed is the only vegetation that can survive in the sulfurous waters of the lake. A small fishing village, Cadmium, has grown up on the shores of the lake. Let's go to the market. Yeah, I'm going to go back to do that druid quest and see if I can roll better. I was wondering if I could find something maybe to help me out a little bit. I got some fish here, it looks like. Alright. Well, um, let's explore. This local village is uh, very small with you with very limited options to explore. Maybe you could try. Talk to a fisherman. Hire a boat and go fishing. Let's talk to a fisherman. Fishing, you ask? Surely nothing can live in these poisonous waters. He shows you a, a bright... The fisherman shows me a bright yellow fish with gray stripes, saying only the smolder fish has adapted to the sulfur. It feeds on the local seaweed. Mind you, the sulfur fish is totally inedible. Why hunt it, then? Well, each fish is worth quite a bit to sorcerers and the like. We have a standing quota to fill each month for the magical college, colleges at Dweomer. The sulfur-laden organs burn in a particular way. I'm a very useful ingredient for certain magics, I'm told. And where does all this sulfur come from? Scholars say there's an underground volcanic vent. Others believe it's beneath uh, it's the breath of a sea dragon. Personally, I always drop a silver nugget into the waters once a month to appease the dragon for his favorite metal is silver. I'm mean, I like to go fishing. How much? Hire a boat for 15 shards a day. It comes with a fishing net. I think I think we have to. You row out to the lake. Spread the net. Wait for what... See what happens. After an hour or so, a great bubbling and frothing of the lake disturbs your solitude. A massive scaly head, the size of your boat, erupts out of the ochre-colored water onto the end of the long, sinuous neck. A great luminous green eyes look down on you. The creature is covered in brown scales with bright red crest running from the head down to its thick, ropey neck. Uh, I think we found what happens. I am Vaeus, the sea dragon, it says in a rich, creamy voice, tinkled with evil greed. To fish in my lake, you have to pay tribute. To wit, one silver nugget. Pay now or face my wrath. Uh-oh. 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 Before you have time to react, this dragon's massive tail smashes into the keel of your boat, lifting it out of the water and breaking it into two. You are pitched into the sulfurous lake with a rabid sea dragon closing in, intent on swallowing you a whole. Good numbers. That's a bad number. You cannot get away fast enough. With one gulp, Vaeus the sea dragon gobbles you up. You are dead, since you do not have a resurrection deal. An unfortunate end to your adventures. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Game over. I'm going to bed. Stream over. <laughs> that is fantastic. That's fantastic. Let's be a rogue this time. Nook the third. Uh, we're gonna be this guy. Um. Look at the. Look at that hair. Okay, I want, um, oh yeah, give me, give me the, uh, yeah, give me some of those. Prep. Um, I'll take a little baggie. Ooh, I can have a mouse on my shoulder? A snake! Oh, what? Okay, we'll take that. Maybe I should go explore difficulty. You start with plus one in all abilities, plus six stamina, and money, more money in your pouch. And a free resurrection deal. Odds on luck rolls are in your favor, and you will not lose your equipment when resurrected. I think maybe maybe we should do that. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm not a quitter. Or a coward. We're going in. Classic mode. <laughs> That's right. Just got here just in time to watch me start with the very first run of the stream. That's right. You, you lucky. <laughs> okay. Let's scour the remnants. Uh, I think this is all story stuff, I think. So. Uh, let's go to these stones. And let's go to the next one. Okay. So, let's go through the archways. You know what? I think Yellowport sounds like a fantastic place to go. I think. 
All right, site returns. You find yourself at the gates of a large city set in an ochre-colored river. A vile stink of brimstone permeates the air. You wrinkle your face up in disgust and gag involuntarily. Welcome to Yellowport, says a passing merchant. Oh, I know where I'm at. Um, a stinky river rich deposits of sulfur from the lake of the sea dragon down to the town hill. Extracted and stored in large waterfront warehouses with a merchant's guild. Okay. Exported all over the place. I'm a rogue this time. So, let's go. Maybe this guy wants a job for us. We have several hours to be seen by one of the uh, Provost Marshal's aides, a certain Captain Roizer. I can bribe him. Uh, I'm loyal. I have to convince the Captain it is most worth the while to let you see the Marshal. It is. It is. He's impressed with your claims of loyalty to Sakara. Decides you could be useful to the Marshal. The Marshal is rich and powerful man, cunning and capable. I have need of someone like you, he says. A group of rebels loyal to the old king are hiding out in the cold, bleak mountains. Their leader, Nurgan Corin, is dangerous to us, as he is the heir to the old throne and a rallying point for the rebels. Penetrate their stronghold and slay Nurgan Corin, and you will be richly rewarded. I promise you 500 shards and a title if you succeed. <laughs> that sounds like something I can handle. All right. All right. Uh, most of the stuff is about uh, the, the ones we saw before. Um, let's go to the tavern. Buy drinks all around, listen for some rumors. I'm not going to be doing that big task for a while, so let's listen for some rumors. Following a conversation with uh, Pilates, a kindly old scholar, priest of Molarn, and god of knowledge. Many years ago, the Book of the Seven Sages was stolen from us, he croaks. News suggests that the Scorpion men are in possession of it. I need a young adventurer like yourself to travel the Scorpion Bite. Return the book to me. In return, I can show you how to improve the skill of your choice. Yes, please. Okay, very well. Meet me here once you obtain the artifact, and I will reward you. All right. All right. Quest, we got two quests now. Um, we're going to go to the Temple of Maka. Terrible god of disease and famine. It's a large underground chamber accessible via an ornate entrance into the middle of the plaza where the, of the gods. Down below, the walls are bare earth. The ceiling is covered in the roots of growing plants. For Maka is also the goddess of the harvest who must be kept, kept happy, else disease and famine will strike the people, their crops and their livestock, bringing ruin to all. She seems nice. I can do it with 50 shards to become an initiate. Can I just maybe get a blessing from you? Uh, Non-initiate gets has, has to be 20 shards. I don't have that. Okay, and if I get disease or poison, I can come here and get it from her. Okay, well, we know what to do. We can go and venture out Interesting. I got a free house last time I was here, I, th I think. Um, well, we know we're not going there. That's for sure. Let's see where we need to go. So we have a quest to go over this way and a quest to go up here to the blessed things. I think this is where... Which which quest do we want to do here? But they're both. That one's hard. That one's very hard. I guess we won't do either of those. Um, well, maybe we're just supposed to just scout around a little bit, do some easy quests. Cobbled road between the yellow port and Marlock City, it's well kept. Spot a man up ahead, striding towards you. Suddenly, five or six bandits appear from the wayside to assault him. The lone figure executes a series of movements, almost faster than the eye can see. And you see his sword flashing in the sun. Moments later, the bandits are all lying dead or dying around him. You stop to compliment him on the swordsmanship. I thought I was going to die there for a second. The man, grizzled veteran of many campaigns, regards you with steely gray eyes and says, I have learned much of the arts of war my time, it is true. Impressed by his skill and demeanor, you venture to ask him to teach you some of these arts. He looks you up and down and with a critical eye. Please, sir. Please. He seems, to, he seems to see something he approves of because he says, perhaps. But first you must prove yourself. There is a knight, a man of great evil. He's known as the Black Dragon Knight. Oh yeah, I can handle this. Defeat him in battle and I will teach you. Bring me back his Black Dragon Shield as proof of your valor. With that, he turns and walks away. No, I need your training to handle the Black Knight. Would you have me kill him for you as well? He asks. Uh, how do I find him? And then how do I find you? I cry. Would you have me kill him for you as well? He asks over his shoulder. As for the second, ask for me in the Blue Griffin Tavern in Karan Baru. My name is Yanrit, the sun. You come to the top of a windswept cliff, ancient pillar of jumbled rock, pitted and weather-beaten, stands at the cliff's edge like a broken finger pointed at the sky. Seagulls sing their song of desolation in the air. Judging by the runes etched into the rock, the tour dates back to the time of the Shadar. 
a race that ruled Harkuna so long ago they're lost in myth and legend. Well, we'll take a look at it. Let's take a look closer look at those runes. Ooh! Runes are written in old Shadar, ancient language from thousands of years ago. Realize the runes form a spell that will give you the power to breathe underwater for a few hours. <laughs> Use the spell and swim out to sea. Gills grow out of your neck as soon as you have read the runes aloud. You make your way to the track to the beach and swim out to sea. The gills work perfectly, and you find yourself swimming in the eerie silence of the submarine world. Suddenly a hideous form looms... Oh boy. <laughs> a hideous forms loom out of the murk. They gather like giant squids, but they carry spears in one of their mini tentacles and wear rudimentary armor. Great black eyes shine with an implacable alien intelligence. The vile-looking creatures shoot up towards you with terrifying, predatory speed. You have no choice but to fight them. Sounds fishy to me. Uh, hello, sir. You got a lot more stamina than me. Um, poison's one of the non one non-adjacent target for the next three turns. Okay, that. Rush past my target's def defenses in the blink of an eye. Backstab them for 80% max weapon damage. Which I can do. Um, I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna just... Ha uh, I'm gonna go over here. And defend. Oh, we got six to get there. Hang in there, lizard man. It's, it's gonna be bad. That's, I, could do it. I could charge out here and get this. Let's get him. Let's get him. Take that. Take that. Three action points left. Can I defend? Defend three. Okay. Attack me for two, but I'm going to smack him. Almost got him. Um, this costs two. I, have to, I do have two. Throw that on him. <laughs> okay. I have four hit points left. Got him. I can't get there. Uh, two action points. Oh, 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 I didn't need to do that one. Uh, no, no, cancel that. Cancel that. Cancel that. Oh, well, I squandered squ squ that one. I got one hit point left. I could throw this again. He's at five. Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. Okay, I got a roll good here. I'm going to throw the poisonous vial because that costs two action points. Oh, it can't because he's not, he's not there. <laughs> I got it! Oh, man. <laughs> That's the most exciting squid fight I've ever had in my life. One of the creatures bursts open in death, spilling black inky cloud into the water. You die. The sack in which you this ink is kept falls free from its body. You take the ink sack if you wish. I do. And you also find coral jewelry worth about 15 shards. Praise on Tinti is right. It slips through your fingers, leaving a slimy, pungent, and oddly warm, inky residue. Why are you touching it? I don't know. I'm alive. I don't feel well, but I'm alive. Let's get back to town here. Okay, we need to rest. Um, let me go to the market. Hey, I found some garbage. Would you like it? Do you want this? Doesn't seem to want this. Right click to sell them. It doesn't have a price on it though, so I guess I can't sell it. This guy's, I guess, I can see I'm something I'm looking to buy. Yes, yes. Praise on Tinti. We never doubted. Right. Thank you. I, I didn't either. All right. Uh, let's see what the trade guild house has. All right. Um, I can dump my money in there if I want. Uh, we're just gonna go to the the, uh, the tavern. We're going to rest for a while. Eight shards to fully heal. Okay. Um, we can listen for rumors for three shards. I probably should do that. Like, I need easy, easy jobs. The greatest adventure the world has ever known. That's right. <laughs> uh, epic tale of an ancient legend. He speaks of Zynok, the priest king, the ruler of a mighty nation in distant steppes far to the north. A thousand years ago, his empire flourished. His wealth was enormous. He was buried in a great pyramid tomb, along with his riches. It said the pyramid of Zynok lies, but this is not my. I can't handle this. Lies beyond the spine of Harkun, beyond the great steppes, in the foothills at the peaks of the edge of the world. The question you, f 
You question him further, but that is all he knows. I feel like I am playing Kenji here, and I'm just some scrub with nothing. I need to go pick up scraps. That's about it. Um, alright. We gotta get that guy's job. Uh, I can't really do it. I'm gonna go squander, like, kind of hunt around and see if we can just do some little tasks. Maybe we can start doing small chores like mowing a lawn or two. <laughs> You're following the course of the stinking river. It certainly does stink. Uh, here there's a dragon around. Ooh. I caught a smolder fish. Hey. Hey. All right. Let's go to Venifax. Venifax is a strange looking village. It looks like a single gigantic building. All the houses are joined together to form a jumbled mass. None of the houses have doors. The only way in is through the howls, holes in the rooftop. Ladders lead up to the roof, which effect forms a network of streets that the inhabitants travel across to certain buildings. Uh, we had to build it that way for defense, says a passing farmer. You see, the scorpion men from the south cannot climb, so they can't get inside the town. Running around, you clamber down a ladder into a long, low hall, the Venifax Markets. Close on Thursday. Fortunately, it's not Thursday. A stocky, barrel-chested man with piggy eyes introduces himself as Furs, master of the market. Not much for you to buy or sell in this provincial market. Items with no purchase price are available, not available locally. Well, I got a fish. Can I not sell my fish? No. Okay, okay. Let's explore. I think the places that could be of potentially interest to you in the strangest looking villages you've seen so far. After a while, you narrow them down to a few useful possibilities. Let's go visit the villagers on the rooftop. A small boy runs up to you saying, Help us, help us! A man-eating, bloodthirsty gobgobbler has got my little sister. Sorry, she's on her own. His mother, a flaxen-haired beauty, comes up behind them. Well, okay, I guess I'll help. Surely you mean bloodthirsty not to... What? Surely you mean bloodthirsty not Thursday, you ask. Oh, a Blood Thursday. I read, the, I read that wrong. Blood Thursday, Gob Gobbler. I was so confused. Oh no, replies the young mother. The man-eating Blood Thursday, Gob Gobbler, is so named because it hunts only on Thursdays. The boy's name is Mikhail, and his mother is Lynn. Her, her husband is away in the army, and her young daughter, Haley, was taken by the beast last Thursday. Apparently, several people have disappeared, never to be seen again. Help us, plead the villagers. Well, you know, I'm pretty mighty. You wait until Thursday. Lynn tells you that the disappearances happen a little way out of town, near the old farmhouse. As you leave town, you notice Furs, the master of the market, heading in the opposite direction. Which one's... That one says that's an easy one. Bring back your shield. That's an easy one. Okay. Uh, this one isn't on the list yet. We haven't got that yet. So, what do we do? Do we follow... Do we help the do we help the beautiful mother? Or I mean I mean the kid? You know his furs, the master of the market, heading the opposite direction. That's strange. That it would tell me that. We'll follow. Do we want to follow furs? After a while, furs circles around, heading across country. Oh, I'm a rogue. You, you trail furs to the old farm. Mm, I knew it was going to happen. He goes deep inside. You creep to see what he is doing. Three rough-looking thugs are helping furs get into what is obviously a monster suit. It's a bit like a giant hairy toad made of hide of some animal stretched over a wooden framework. So much for the dreaded gobgobbler. You wait by the door. As the thugs emerge, you club one to the ground, but you have to fight the other two. Here we go. Here we go. That's right. We help the beautiful lady whose husband's out of town. <laughs> <laughs> that's more like it. Stamina 4 and 5, that's my kind of fighting I can do. Okay. Uh, he, he can't make it to me, so I'm just going to hang out here for a minute. If I could find like a, a... It'd be nice if I could find a patch where I can only fight one of them. It'd be best. I don't know how far they move. How we, can we tell? He has four action points, and it's two to walk forward, so he can only go two, so he can go to right there. So why don't... He can go too, but he won't be able to attack. I think I'm doing this right. Yeah, and then we're gonna we're gonna throw poison on this guy. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, I got this game figured out. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay.
after beating you. Uh, after the beating, you served fours and his accomplishments. No, I murdered him. You wake him up with a bucket of cold water. He's eager to run to run out of uh, this, run off. But the sight of a hardened adventurer rather than a timid villager, he surrenders and confesses all. He terrified people with a monster disguise to keep them away from his farm. He and his men were kidnapping villagers, chaining them to the cellar below, and selling them to a slaver from Karan Baru for work in the slave mines. You find Haley and several other villagers down below in the cellar. Don't hurt me, begs Furs. I'm only trying to make a few shards. What? By selling your own people under the slavery, says one of the villagers, giving him a good kick. Lead him back to Venifax. Haley runs to her mother's arms for a tearful reunion. Lynn, the mother, gives you a suit of chain mail and a sword. Ordin that's not ordin no ordinary weapon. Where? I'm just using like a stick. These have been in the family for generations. It's all I have to give, she says. Fors is hauled off to the local magistrate for judgment. He will probably be sold into slavery. Villagers welcome you as one of the who brought Furs to justice and save their people from slavery. Venifax is a strange-looking village. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Um, well, I mean, we're a hero. We might as well go walking around. You know? Yeah. Uh, speaking of, um, we'll go to the healer, I guess. No, we don't, we don't need it. Sting fever, I guess. Fix that if we need. Uh, let's go to the inn. And I expect people to, like, to love me now. They're vicious. Evil devils, says an old peasant. Like huge scorpions they are. Save they have the head and shoulders of a man. Intelligence, too. Forever seeking to pillage our town. But they can't climb up the ladders. Soldier in the militia speaks up. They hate fire, too. All we have to do is sit atop of the town, pepper them with flaming arrows, and they can't stand that for long, mind you. These things are getting bad. They've got a sorcerer now. Young man, blind one eye, paralyzed down to one side, says they got a terrible sting as well. The venom did this to me. Point to his eye inside. There's not much else to hear. You leave. Okay. Okay, uh, well. I'd like to put this stuff on my body. So, get this, this garbage out of here. Can I wear this? Yeah, I can. And I have a katana. This looks like I have two swords. I actually think I only have one sword. So let's... Can I do that? So what's the difference here? This is 3 to 5 damage, and this is 1 to 6. I'm not sure which one I want. This one just says combat none. This one says combat no bonus. I think I'd rather have this one. Three to five is better than one to six, isn't it? That's right, that's right. I pro yeah, I'm a paladin now because I prefer holy armor. Chain, yeah, yeah. Yeah, three to five is better. Oh, man. I can sell it, though. And I will. This is an alchemy recipe thing, so I guess we could do some, some of that as well. Uh, we just have to buy some things. How do I sell stuff? Sell for 45. Yeah. I could sell this thing for 40. There you go. I got money now. I never had money before. What's that? Scorpion Antidote Alchemy. Yeah, thank you for your family heirloom. How much can I get for this? <laughs> A bow would be nice to have. I can switch out and shoot some things. I have to buy arrows also. But that might be a good idea, you know? What's more important is that or uh, some defense. We'll, uh, we'll wait. Now, this is still a very hard one. But this, this Black Dragon Knight one. There's a man of great evil notes. Defeat him in battle. Where is he? He doesn't tell me. He's in, in, I think, where was that? In, that? in here, I think. He's up here. Castle of the Dragon Knights, so he's got to be there. Okay, it does tell me. So we'll venture up that way. Let's go up the Eastern Road. Was there a throwing knife I could buy there? That would be a good idea. Yeah, I missed that one. Dagger. I don't see one. This costs six action points is a problem with that one. 
Cost four. What's it take to switch? Always bring a bow to a sword fight. Mm -hmm. What if I can throw this dagger? It's not very many hit damage, though. I'll look whenever I... We'll see what else we can find. Not a lot of money now, though. Get a blessing if we want. On the road between Blessed Springs and Venifax, pilgrims, the sick and the injured, travel this route to the holy waters of the Blessed Springs to find salvation. I'm attacked by mad pilgrims. All right, pilgrim. Okay, so he has four action points, so I can do the same thing. I'm just going to stand here, and I'm going to get him. I oh, don't do that. Actually, yeah, you can go ahead and do that. He's going to try to make it around this way. I'm just going to, um, yeah, I'll put it on him. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to hit defense. I got to go walk up and hit. I can't I have time to walk up, so I'm going to sit here. Defense. Okay. Now die. Oh. Okay. Not quite as exciting as I was hoping for. Oh, he hit, he hit me with two. Okay. We're going to... Um, what's that mean? Okay. He's, he's too close now. Oh, he died of poison. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this poison thing is the, is saving my life. I like it. I need some more of that. I will take a, a new staff. Or a staff, I should say. One to seven damage. Costs six action points, though. And the potion, the other potion of godliness. Must have been my old character. Okay, uh, we're going to go with Blessed Springs. Seems like there's friendly people there. I need a rest. Or some sort of healing. When do I... I think, so to get new skills, um, we have to just go, we have to go just go buy them, basically. I don't know how leveling up works. I die too much to know how to level, <laughs> how to level up. We're level one. Um, there's his mithril's. I'll stick this, oh, I can't, it has to be, it has to be a ranged weapon. It might be nice to have a shield. Maybe we should buy one of those. Okay, so let's go to the Blessed Spring. Those of Blessed Springs nestled in the foot of the tall hills, growing up around holy waters. A special spring said to have healing powers. Nice. It's been fenced off by the villagers, and a priesthood appointed to supervise the supplicants who come to bathe or drink at the spring waters. No markets. Alchemist shop set up. Uh, oh, I got some of this. Do I... Am I thinking the right character? I got this nasty oil. You want this? No. I'll take some potion, though. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use this thing. I should just drink it. Adds one combat for that roll, or that combat only. Potion of healing. So some of your stamina. I should buy that. That seems like something I need. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and tour the place. Heard stories of the Holy Spring as its healing powers growing around it. Uh, let's go visit the waters. A wooded stockade encloses the spring at the gate. Two militiamen stand on guard. The priest, dressed in blue robes, sits behind a desk. 35 shards to enjoy the divine spa, says the priest. Nope. Alchemist shop. Let's explore the hill. Make your way up the hill. After a while, you spot a cave set in the hillside a little further up. Judging by the human bones dumped near the entrance, this is the lair of a dangerous beast. Fresh tracks of some large, two-legged, three-toed creature led from the cave into some nearby trees. It seems this it is not home. At the moment. Make a scouting roll or a magic roll. Or make a scouting roll. I think I'm pretty good at that. Man, I'm gonna get I'm gonna I'm gonna die. I don't wanna die right now. Everything everything ooh, everything indicated this cave is empty as you approach carefully. On lookout on the lookout for the attack from behind. Suddenly something rushes out of the cave, taking you by surprise. It's a Gorlock! A beast with legs like a bird, a body like a reptile, and two short forelimbs and a beaked lizard-like head. You see that its two legs end up backward pointing feet. The tracks it leaves always show the wrong direction of travel. Bit me for four. I don't want to die. I've made it so far. I don't want to die. He's got 14 stamina. Run away! Run away! Run away! 
six action points. He does nine to 19 damage. What am I supposed to do? Um, I'm going to run over here and cry. And I'm going to use my healing potion. Okay. <laughs> I want to, I want to fight. Okay. I guess he spits or something. Okay, we can get him with the poison. Take that. Um, takes three action points to walk onto here. What do you think it takes him to bite? I could go there. And hope to get him on the ground. Just cost extra action to, to cross this. No, I'm just going to go... I'm just going to defend. Oh, we've got a range. He has a range. I'm going to die. It's, you know, there's no hope here. Why is this game so hard? I need four action points to attack, so I can't even attack the guy. Where's my runaway button? Run away! I don't want to fight it. Hmm. Yeah, I got, to, I got to move up on him. I mean, what am I supposed to do there? I had no way of getting... Not, I, I clicked on that thing to go look at the cave. But I had no way of getting out of the cave. I had no way of walking away. I had to, I could either do a scouting roll or a magic roll. There was no... Just leave the cave alone like I wanted to do. Uh, Alright, one more. One more. Want to try one more? Um, I seem to do a lot of fighting, but my 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 warrior didn't really do anything. Yeah, I went I went to a spa and got killed by a Gorlock. <laughs> Man, I was so close to leveling up too, wasn't I? So we could be a troubadour. We could get a clone. Song of Swiftness. Let's see what else we can do here. Look at this guy. I never was able to cast my lightning strike because I died too fast. That might be really good. Actually. Oh, this guy gets an animal companion. That could save my life quite a bit. Um, I'm going to go explore mode just because I want to see the game. So, we're going to be... <laughs> the fourth. Um... Yeah, you know, this guy. There we go. Give me that. That's a cool looking bow. I'll take a dagger. That seems cool. And my companion. I can have a bird. I can have an owl. I can have a hawk. And they're all good. Or nothing. I want... I want an owl. Okay. We're gonna go easy mode just because um, this game is hard. <laughs> Alright, death is just a Hey, I got an achievement. Alright, well thanks, game. All right, it makes me feel a little better. Alright, let's go to the stones. And... I, I, you know, we had a couple things that went well there. So I think we're going to go back to Yellow Port. I got a good feeling about this. I got 200 shards this time as well. So... Welcome to Yellow Port. Uh, while we're here, let's stop by the market. And let's maybe pick up some armor. I got 200 bucks. What can I buy? What do I have? Not that one. This one. I have just garbage leather, ar leather armor. And a 1 to 4 damage bow, which is bad. And 5... Oh, I'm going to have to buy some more arrows. Okay. So, let's go here. I'm going to go ahead and buy some arrows. Um, give me like 20 of those. And then, do you have a better bow? One to four is bad. That's nice, a nice green long bow. Rat poison. There's, there's skills, archery. 
bonus. Critical chance offense with swords and daggers. That's kind of stuff I need, but it's too expensive. A treasure map. Hey, okay. Um, let's explore the city by day. We're going to go to the, uh, the harbor. Take a stroll through the busy harbor. You overhear a conversation between two merchants and learn the most profitable trading routes between Saqqara and Golnir. Pause of this new information is coming handy if you make a small investment in the Merchant's Guild. Invest money into multiples of 100 shards. Guild will buy and sell commodities on your behalf using this money until you return to collect it. Don't forget that you can lose money as well. Okay. Okay. I, I don't, uh, I don't argue. I'll throw my money away. <laughs> Let's go explore by night. Unwholesome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go to the um, the merchant storehouses. You hear a muffled cry of distress from a dark alley. <gasps> Investigate. You find a huddled, moaning figure on the ground. As you approach, a net is thrown over you from behind. You glimpse a face painted with bite bone dust and big red circles around the eyes just before a terrific blow on the back of your head slams you in unconsciousness. Hello. Wait, wait. Missed some things here. Uh, you come around come around inside a dis disused warehouse uh, enmeshed into the nets. You have been stripped of all your possessions. There are a tidy pile nearby. Several men surround you. They are dressed in furs and robes that are adorned with hundreds of multicolored feathers. Each man wears a necklace of animal skulls and has his teeth sharpened with needle-like points. Hello, the leader speaks, says reasonably. We are the unspeakable ones. It is our way to eat people in sacrifice of our god. Great, great, great. He points to a squat wooden idol of a grossly fat half-man, half-ape with ivory needles for teeth. You notice the, the Batagor the Unspoken inscribed on a plaque at the base of the idol. Batagor the Unspoken? Who's he, you ask? No, that's not the kind of questions you ask. You just say, okay, get me out of here. Do not speak his name, shouts the cannibal, or you'll be forever cursed. You notice a large cauldron of boiling water into which another cultist is tossing herbs and garlic. He stares at you and licks his lips. Uh, this is, this is, yeah, I do get a free res shard with, with, with this boat. A dad joke, huh? Man, earlier today, earlier today, rough, rough times. I, um, I swallowed a, um, a teaspoon of food coloring. Like, just teaspoon, I thought it was something else, just teaspoon of food coloring. I thought, that's no good, that's no good. So I went to the doctor. Um, the doctor says, uh, you'll be fine, you'll be fine, no big deal. Uh, but, you know, I... The way the way I felt, I I died a little inside. Uh, all right, all right. Back to the terrible from terrible jokes to uh, a, a terrible situation. You learn from the conversations that they are from the jungles of distant Ankonkonu, the Feathered Lands, and they have come here to find new sacrifices for their god and new members for their cults. The chief, the chef, pronounces the cauldron is ready. I'm going to join their cult, I guess. Wait, you cry. I've seen the light. I wish to join your cult. What? Shells the chef. Then his shoulders sag in resignation. We cannot refuse new member. A new member, says the, the, the leader with obvious disappointment. And we cannot eat our own people, he says sadly. A short ceremony later. Fortunately, the initiation does not involve any cannibalistic rites. And you are a full member of the cult of Batagor. All right. Lose one sanctity permanently. That's fine. For joining such a foul goal, you take your leave. They wish you well and smiles and friendship. Remember, never say his name and do not forget to bring us new recruits, says the leader. And some people for dinner, as the chef. Hastily, you head for the city center. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Do I have my gear still? I guess they give it back to me. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, we're going to go uh, by day again and we're going to go look at the poor quarter. A mad beggar covered in sores and grime accosts you in the street. Oh, noble one! Aid me for the love of the gods! He's, he rants, frothing at the mouth and gesticulating wildly. I need coins to eat, food to spend, and blessings to wear. I mean, we've got... This is this is one of our people. We can bring him back. Ignore him return. Give him five shards or bless him. I will, I will bless you. I want to bless him. 
You mumble a prayer to the gods, but you're not sure if you got the ritual right. The beggar thanks you and babbles. Yes, yes, a new doublet for an old beggar. I shall wear it with pride. He wanders off, stopping passerbys to show off what he thinks are his new clothes. Poor old fool. What just happened? Alright. Alright. Uh, let's go to the temple of... Oh, Maka. Alright, the terrible goddess of disease and famine. I would like to join this. For how much? 50 shards. Yes. Do we want to go to that one? Maybe we go to a different one. We've got Maka, we got Elnir. What's Tyrnai? God of War. It's built in the shape of a spear and a long pillared nave. Altar at the far end, two massive stone warriors guard its gates. Blood-drenched warrior with the head of a maddened jaguar. That might be a little more our uh, style. Reservation and arrangements is 200 shards <clears throat> for initiate. How much to become initiate? To qualify as initiate, you must have a combat score of at least 6. Do I? Maybe. Uh, it's been recorded as, as your god in your adventure sheet. Um, can I have a blessing? Only 10 shards for a blessing. Yeah, sure. All right. All right. Yeah. Great. Good old what's his name. All right. Um, let's go to the tavern. Let's get some, some rumors. Following a conversation with old pilots. The Book of Seven Sages was stolen from us. He croaks. Scorpion men. I'll get him. I'll get him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, um... I don't know how to go find our, um... Our new friends. I'll go by night again. Let's go to the wealthy area. A pale woman in black leather brushes past you in the street, casting you an enigmatic look. <laughs> You grab the woman's wrist a split second before she can cut the strings on your money pouch. Oh, I was, I, was, I was stealing her money. You drag her around to face you, but she meets your outraged scowl with a swashbuckling grin. You've got good reflexes, she says. Most of the street scum around here are too drink-sodden or dim-witted to notice the losses of a few shards. Want to earn some real money? Oh, yes. She tells you her name is Loria. She leads you to a stealthily through the winding cobblestone streets to a townhouse standing in the back of a small tree-lined square. Yellowish fog is descending with the coming of night. Loria waits until it's thick enough to shroud your activities from any stray passerby. Then Jimmy's a downstairs window. I thought it was Jimmy's. I thought you Jimmy's a lock, not Jimmy's a lock. I learned two... Well, I guess the first one I was wrong about, but... Right? You Jimmy the lock. Jimmy. You don't Jimmy it. <laughs> Within seconds, the two of you were inside. You got the easy job, she says. Stay down here and keep watch. The stuff we're after, it's upstairs. Well, I'm gonna. Um, let's, I really want to search, but I know it's gonna be bad. I'm searching. Make a swift inspection of, this, of the casements, walls, and furnishings, searching for secret panels. I was twelve. I have to. I have to beat that number. Can't find any hidden panels. Uh, Lori did say the real treasure was upstairs. You called her, but she doesn't reply. Oh boy. No, we'll wait for a. Uh, she's setting us up. I know she is. No sign of Loria. But you do find an open trunk and a window with a knotted rope dangling from it. So she found the treasure and then made her escape, leaving you behind to face the music. You allow yourself a you allow yourself a tight lipped smile as you hear her voice echoing leadingly off leadingly far from far off in the fog. There's a thief at the Master Talignigzor's house. Quick! You settle the score with Loria at a future date. For now, you just have time to escape before the patrol arrives. All right, Loria. All right, Loria. I'm going back. Oh, it's her again. Let me go. She pleads, showing you a little infant son she's carrying in her. Wait, what happened? Grab the woman's wrist and give it a painful twist. You're not being cruel for the sake of it. She was about to steal your money. Oh, let me go, she pleads, showing you a little infant son she's carrying in her other arm. I need the money for my starving children and my poor crippled husband. Your report is full of wretches like this. With a snarl, you push her away, tossing a coin after her for good measure. What? No, don't do that. Later, strolling down the canal, you find a small bundle lying on the, the slick cobblestones. It's a doll wrapped in swaddling clothes to make it look like a baby. I'm an idiot. All right, enough of that nonsense. 
Let's go over here. Well, we went there to fight those those uh, fish guys. We can go do this one again and see. That was an easy job. Let's go do that one. Let's see if it's the same task. So, what do we have here? In the U.S., we say Jimmy the Lock. Is it a British thing? Jimmy. Jimmy, a short crowbar used by a burglar to, sh to force open a window or a door. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's go to where we find her before, and we, we just wandered around the rooftop, right? Okay, let's go help him. Thursday. We're gonna go, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna follow, hopefully we find him. Yes. We're gonna get him. The old gob gobbler. Okay. Hopefully I don't die here, because it would be real embarrassing. So he's got four and five. I have 15 now, not nine. Uh, he only moves four, so we can go up here and stabby stab. Wait, I'm an archer. Uh, re undo. I forgot I'm an archer. <laughs> I forgot I'm an archer. Uh, put the bear out there. Woo. Just go defense mode. Oh, yeah, action points. Okay. Uh, bear's turn. Okay. Bear done. Mark a single target as prey, and you and any animal can get 50% damage against it. It's two action points. What I need to do is disengage. Step away. How much does it take to shoot? It takes four to shoot. Oh, my bear! Now I'm just gonna shoot you. Here we go. Right. I'm an archer. Don't forget that. Okay. Maybe archery is the way to go. We did it. I will take my chainmail and the sword. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Um, I hope it sells well. I'm keeping the chainmail, though. I Maybe I should keep the sword. Just if I do something stupid again, like charge in the battle with my bow. Um, here, let's pop that in there. Oops. Oh, yeah. Res resupply that. Come on. Still plus three defense? Yep. So let's sell that. And I think I may maybe buy some more arrows. Okay. Yeah, well, we can shoot underwater. Get those squids. Best friend to adventurers and hangmen alike. That's nice. That's real nice. Uh, I probably could use a rope. You know, what if we come across something that needs roping things? I'm not going to that town again. I'm not going to that dang lake again either. Uh, when scorpion men are down there, I don't have any quests, do I? This one is that book we gotta get from them. Yeah, that's a hard, hard one. So that was up here. Let's go to the riverbank. I'm going to stay around towns. That's maybe my problem. Oh, I got another smolder fish. Excellent. Excellent. Um, this spooky mountain over here. We've been to the tavern before. Let's go over here. It's really much traveled road that connects to uh, there. Um, I could rest to heal for three shards. And then we're going to go get some rumors. Better from the far north tells the story of a great wizard, Targdaz the Magnificent, tricked by a shaman of the Horde of the Thousand Winds on the Great Steps. He imprisoned Targdaz inside a giant ruby and proceeded to loot Targdaz's tower. In his stupidity, he opened the great wizard's casket of imponderables and unleashed a terrible storm that swept across the steps, scattering many of the tribes far and wide. The shaman was killed, of course, but as far as anyone knows, Targdaz, Targdaz is still trapped in the ruby, waiting patiently for a release, perhaps for another hundred years, who knows? One thing's for certain, it won't be me trying to get him out. Alright. These don't seem to do me any good. We can go to the Stinking River. Uh, let's go to the main road here. Block my wagons. Um, nothing happens there. 
Let's go to, we got the countryside up here, or this town. Let's go visit this town. I said I was going to say about the big towns, and I, I lied. Medium-sized town. Axis Way is a way station between the citadel to the north and the rich towns of the south. It's a garrison town. Supplies, soldiers. Several covered arcades. Much of its stock is for miners and soldiers. I'd go to an arcade. We could buy a house here if we want. Uh, let's go visit the market real quick. Ooh, splint armor, huh? Uh, can I get something on my, like, my head and stuff? Yeah, I could wear, like, a helmet, a cape, all kinds of stuff I can get eventually. I'd like some of that kind of stuff. But not here. It seems like the way to get some sort of easy adventure is going, like, around here. There's a slave market. Slave market is a large canvas-covered square. Poor, fortunate, unfortunate slaves, people from all over Harkuna, from the Feathered Lands. Golnir, criminals of Saqqara, nomads from the steppes, paraded in chains on the dais. Uh, merchants and nobles bid for the slaves. Unusual sales come up. A little furry, bat-winged humanoid. It's one of the mannequin people from the Sky Mountain for 50 shards. I'd like one of those. Okay. It's handed to order you on a leash. Its wings have been tied together to stop it from flying away. Who are you, then? It pipes up in a squeaky voice. Just then, a, a palanquin... Carried by four bearers, arrives. A man leans out and hails you. Hey, who there? I've come to buy that flying monkey, but I see him too late. Nevertheless, I'll give you 75 shards for it. Don't sell me to Poppin' Jay. Free me instead. I want to keep you. Fine. You're free. Untie the little creature from its bounds, gives a jubilant cry, and soars upwards. Thank you, large one, it chatters. My name is Pikalik, the Wing Warrior. We never forget, one day I will pay my debt. With that, he flitters away into the clouds. That's 75 shards you let fly away, comments the man in a palaquin Riley. Mannequin people can't be trusted, believe me. Oh, I did my good deed for the day. Um, let's go to the comp uh, here, and... Oh, our friend is not there. Our god, I mean. Let's go. Um, all kinds of stuff. The farmlands. How bad can it be in the farmlands? Crossing an area of fertile farmland where much of the food is grown to feed the army. Like little, our little farmsteads dot the landscape, and the plowed fields have the appearance of a patchwork quilt. I'm mistaken for a murderer. <laughs> uh, I'm forced to flee into the mountains. Goldie Mountains look as inhospitable and as forbid forbidding as their name implies. Their frozen flanks climbing high into the icy clouds. Let's climb! Tough climb upwards, but not impossible. Uh, we're going to move the old-fashioned way because I didn't buy any climbing gear. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if we can do it. I'm pretty good at climbing things, though. I only need to not get a three. Yeah, we got this. You clamber up until you come to a mountain cr track. It rises up between a cleft in the rock ahead of you. A man steps out in front of you. He is clearly a soldier, but his clothes are rough and ready. As if he'd been living in the wild for some time. Hello. Who's the right ruler of Saqqara? General Grieve Marlock or the, s or the son of the old king Nurgan Corin? asked the soldier. Well, Nurgan, of course. That is fortunate for you, says the soldier. Several archers stand up from their hiding places behind the rocks overhead. <laughs> Another soldier, a captain, comes up to you and introduces himself as Captain Vorkung. Clearly one of the old aristocracy, the, lo the nobles loyal to the king and the old regime. Before General Marlock... And the army seized power and executed the old king. Vorkung tells you to leave the mountains. You have found a rebel base. Oh. The Empire's been looking for that for a while. I have the Fable Lands books. Uh, nice to see if you can... Yeah, so how many of them have you have you played? And I'm also very curious as to how similar the books are to this. Uh, you found rebel basemen still loyal to Nurgan. Uh, the heir to the throne. Nurgan went into hiding when General Marlock killed his father and took control of Saqqara. No, believe me. I'm on your side. Believe me. Yeah. Warkring is impressed with your, cha your claims of loyalty to the rightful king. Besides, you must be useful to their cause, and you are led blindfolded through a secret pass to the mountain stockade. Nurgan gives you an audience in a makeshift throne room. He's a young, handsome man who seems committed to his country. Leads you aside into a private chamber. I have need for one such as you, he says. Yellowport groans under the yoke of Governor Marlowe's Marlock, the brother of General Marlock. If you can get into the palace of Yellowport and assassinate him, I'll be great, internally grateful. Yeah, you know, that's what I do. Very well. 
Maybe, can we eat him? Can I eat him afterwards? I made a deal with these other guys. Okay. Let's get out of here. We want to go murder? We want to go kill the king? It's very hard. <laughs> Everything we do is very hard. Uh, Kramal, thanks for following. Let's go to the countryside. We're staying away from the springs. Crossing an open expanse of flinty ground. Herds of sheep. Low hills. I met a shepherd. He gives me a wolf pelt. Well, thanks, buddy. Here, we, uh, nothing happens there. Um, let's go to visit the forest of Laroon. We've been to part of this before. Uh, we know well, we know where this goes. We, maybe we can get the quest, though. No, never mind. Uh, let's go to Devil's Peak. Crossing into the western wilderness, an expanse of wild, sparsely populated countryside. A few trappers and woodsmen are making a living from the natural resource of the area. A tall spire of rock, towering anomaly of geology, rises up into the clouds, dominating the horizon. Local hunter tells you it's known as Devil's Peak. The summit is infested with demons. Demons, you say? Well, I like killing demons. Is that reasonable? Can I do that? It's pretty close to town. I need climbing gear. Okay. River Grim. What if we take both him and Marlock to the cultists? Mm. Style is definitely similar. Nice. You're on the east bank of the River Grim, a great powerful river which rushes past towards the sea. You can travel to Golnir from here. A water sprite curses you. Lose a... My blessing! You dang sprite! Oh, wring your neck. Oh, we're going over here to the west. We're in Golnir now. Just after nightfall... A Punt carrying translucent figures comes drifting along the river. Come with us. Call out the wraiths. We'll take you to a feast in the underworld. Sure, I'm a, I'm, I, I, I never turn down a free meal. <laughs> As the punt drifts on, darkness congeals around you until the only things you can see are the ghostly figures beside you. Finally, the punt jolts to a halt, and you walk along a jetty into a shadowy hall. You're in a vast chamber. It is dark and hazy with blue resinous smoke. Glimmering lamps sparkle along the distant walls. Ravens flutter among the high black rafters. Trestles line the room. Seated there are countless people with white faces and red roomy eyes. Roomy? Roomy? Something draws your eyes to the far end of the hall where a cowled figure sits on a gnarled wooden throne. I'll just have a seat. One of the white-faced company pulls you down onto the bench beside him. A cup of black liquor is pressed into your hand. Drink deep, says the sepulchral voice, for the grave has few other comforts. An unfortunate end to your adventures. <laughs> Since I have arranged a resurrection deal, I do not fear death. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, we're way back here. Uh, well, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, let's go back over. You know what? Let's go to Yellow Port. Things are nicer over there. <laughs> I assume I still have my quest, though, right? Resurrection deal. Yeah. So we can go in and we can try this. It seems like a bad idea. We're going to die. It's very hard. There's no way we can do it. So I shouldn't do it. I'm going to find something from that. Um, where do we go to the docks? What's the docks going to take us? Go to the Isle of Druids. Which we came from. We go to Marlock City, which is it's right over there. Buy boats. Okay. That was very much a you die, choose your own adventure ending. Yep. Yep. So this is very hard. I, I want to do that, but I can't. So. Um, did I put my money here? How much money do I have? I still have a hundred in there. Okay. Visit the guildmaster, Vernon of Yellowport. Surprisingly eager to hear you, he is hugely fat and bejeweled merchant, and tells you that a group of rat men have made a base in the sewers beneath the city. They come out at night to raid the warehouses and homes of the merchants of Yellowport. We need an adventurer like yourself to destroy their king. Explains the guildmaster. Yeah, yeah. A four hundred fifty shards, and I get a free meal. No, it's not. That's actually not what I said. Uh, it's all feast tonight. 
mistook it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll go there. Uh, first, I want to uh, have a little nap. No, no, I'm actually, I'm full now. Let's get in there. Uh, is this an easy quest? Medium. Climb down an old disused well in the horse quarter of Yellow Port. It's dank and dark and smelly. I need a, little, I need a lantern before I go down there. Uh, wrong one. Uh, let's go to find a lantern. Aren't they expensive? 100 gold. Whale. Uh, you don't want that. Okay. Let's go see if we can do some other little jobs around here. Go by, by night. And we're going to go to the rough part of town. Making your way through the uh, back streets of Port Quarter, you are set upon by knife-wielding thugs who are intent on relieving you of your purse. I can talk my way out of this or I can fight him. I fight him. Yeah, a fine opportunity to teach those thugs not to mess with you. Have you met my bear? He likes to tear faces off of people. There's, th there's three of you. Okay. Bear. Bear there. Uh, and that's all we can do. Bear, you're gonna stay right there, buddy. I'm gonna start mowing some folks down. We're gonna mark who's gonna go first. We'll wait until I see... I'm just gonna go ahead and mark someone. I might as well, because to shoot is four. So I'm just gonna mark... We'll mark her. Oh, I can't mark her. I'll mark that guy. And I'm gonna shoot. I guess I might as well shoot him. Okay. Take that. Oh man, I got it figured out now. Be the ranger. And all is all is well. Okay. Defeat thugs without too much. You inspect the bodies and find 15 shards. I also find 45 shards. Uh, well, well anyway. Uh, as soon as I get 100 gold. Um, let's do some more of that. Let's go by day. And we're going to go to the poor quarter. Mad beggar. I'll, I'll bless him again. I'll try this again. No. No. Yeah, he's a little lost. Uh, let's go by night again. We're going to go to the wealthy quarter and try this. We'll go. The, we'll explore the merchant storehouses. Muffle cry of distress. We know what that is. Yeah, the cultists. Oh. Feigning distress in the hope of luring sacrificial victim for dinner. He sits up and recognizes you as a member of the cult and says, Ah, oh, hello, friend. We were hoping for a big banquet tonight. <laughs> Two more cultists step up from the shadows holding a net. Ah, well, perhaps another will come along. One of them says optimistically. Treat you as one of their own and give you a, a share of the cult's recent income. May you never speak his name, they intone in parting. I got 20 bucks for just walking over there. Okay, by night, we're going to go to the wealthy area. It's Is it always the same one? It must be. Um, she pleads, showing an infant son. We're gonna give her one shard. She was okay. So we've seen we've seen that one a few times. We no point in doing that one again. I need to go get I need to go get some more money. So let's go. Let's go. We'll try up here. Stinky river. Nothing happens. I'm gonna go with this little town over here. I find a sword. What? There's my money. There's my money. Um, we don't know about Oliford here. So let's go back, sell the sword, do the quest, get a lantern. Got the money? Give me a lantern, please. Okay. Uh, into the sewers we go. The 
dank tunnels running with rivulets of foul water. You take you deeper into the unknown. You mark the passage, twisting passages with chalk so you can find your way out back. Shortly, you come into a large, rough, hewn cavern, wreathed into shadows that dance and flicker into the light you have brought. The sound makes you start in surprise. I failed. Three hulking shapes appear out of the shadows from nowhere. They are hideous creatures, man-like, standing on two legs but with a tail and hairy features of a gigantic rat. Their yellowing teeth snap at you as they lunge for you. The rat men also wield wicked-looking wicked -looking short swords in their hands. Gut the human, tells one of them with a bestial voice. That was my bestial voice. I didn't go to the merchant's... No, I didn't go to the merchant's guild yet. I figured I'd wait and give it some time. They're pretty tough. So we're gonna put Mr. Bear... Right there. Very poetically. Oh, they're slow. They're real slow. Well, that guy was, anyways. Um, bear. Go there. How much damage does he do? It says eight, oh, two damage. Okay. I hit him for one. I gotta get a better bow. Get him. one again. Now he's on me, so I gotta disengage. This isn't gonna do me any good. I'm gonna disengage until I get my bear back. Okay. Good. Thank you for hitting him and not me. Yeah, hit points just yeah, that's yeah, that's hit points. I don't know why it calls hit points stamina. It's kinda weird, isn't it? It's, I guess it's used for other things, but typically anything hit point wise is stamina. I'm in light of feet at your feet, you find fifteen shards in the bodies and note which says party kitchens tonight. Rank and file rats only, no officers and no king allowed. The rest of the cavern is bare. For a while, you come to a cleaner area of the sewers, part of the old city now buried under Yellowport. It dates from the period when all of Harkuna was ruled by the masked ones of Utaku, before the people overthrew them. You come to two rotten wooden doors. Names have been scratched on one of them by uh, some half-literate ratmen. One says, Throne Room. Other says, Kitchens. You can hear grave, gravelly rat voices from behind both doors. Let's go to the Throne Room. Gingerly, you open the door. It leads to a curtained alcove, through which you observe the room beyond. It is a long, low hall, clearly an ancient Utakan temple. From a time when the mass lord of Utaku ruled all of... Yeah, didn't I read that already? Cheap wooden doors have been placed in the altar. It acts as a throne. It sits on a large, extremely ugly rat man. He has a tacky amulet around his neck and a rusty iron hoop for a crown. Four rat men are kneeling before him, engaged in conversation. But Scab, one of the rat men is saying, That's great, King Scab, to you, dung breath. Bellows the rat on the throne. I'm sneaking in to assassinate the king. Yeah, there we go. You inch your way slowly around the edge of the old temple. Suddenly, you burst out of the shadow and cut the, the king down, catching the ratmen by surprise. At the sight of you standing over their dead king, the four remaining ratmen flee in terror. Without their king, they have no spirit for a fight. Ooh, I found a, rusty old, a nasty old copper amulet from his neck, which I will take. Also found a chest in the corner of the room, but it's clearly been booby-trapped. Oh, with my thief skills, of course. Oh, man. Man. It explodes! I lose five stamina. Amateurist tinkering sets a trap off, and his chest explodes. Take the force of the blast. Uh, you also find that the contents of the chest have been vaporized, except for a sturdy metal scroll case containing a piece of an ancient religious text about the gods of Utaku. Uh, I take the skull of Ebron, if I wish. I do wish. 
Easy. Okay, so we can now go back here and say, hey, we did it. Guildmaster. 450 shards. Alright. I'm also an exterminator. Alright. Uh, I need a rest, so let's go snooze for a few days. Okay. Uh, I got some money. So, we should buy something. I don't know what I want. I got 469, which means I can get a treasure map. Praise on Tinty. Praise on Tinty. Rarity. Junk. A cause for more bloodshed than the treasure itself. Weird. There's climbing gear. We can climb up on that mountain if we have the climbing gear for the demons. Sounds like a bad idea. Uh, I guess I'll buy some adventuring gear. I'll buy the basic stuff. There was a... Uh, yeah, the longbow. I can buy the longbow. Now. One longbow, please. Uh, I also want... Some more arrows. I'll buy ten at a time, I guess. <laughs> That's right, Burns. That's right. <laughs> Okay, so I want this bow instead of that garbage bow. Okay, would you like to buy my old janky bow? He says yes. Okay. Where can I find a, new, a nice hat? Um, that's still a tough one. Let's go... We, we've kind of taken care of that area. Let's go back over to town here. I'm not going to walk in the water this time. There's the guy. Oh, this is the guy that kills the bandits. Yeah. Uh, Black Dragon Shield. Okay, we got to find out where that guy is. Which we know, he's up north. Let's, um... We're not, we don't care about the ruins. We're going to go down to the beach. Climb down the narrow track of the beach to see pounds of rocky shore as the spray lashes your face. A mournful yet utterly captivating singing suddenly fills your ears. You look out to see and spot several mermaids and mermen cavorting in the surf. Come, come to us, one of them calls in a li lilting voice that fills you with yearning desire to plunge into the sea and swim out to them. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Your mind falls into a waking dream as you walk lazily into the waters. The merfolk, laughing and singing, take you down to their undersea home of living coral, where they stop you from drowning with their fairy magic. They keep you for several weeks until you are no longer an amusement to them. You wake up, as if from a long sleep. I thought for sure I was dying there. Uh, only a shadowy memory of your ordeal. You find yourself washed up in the harbor of Yellowport. Lost weapon and armor you were carrying, but you still have your money. Oh, man! I just bought that. I just bought that. <laughs> really? Oh no. Okay, they just took my sword. They stole my bow. Okay, good. Good. Uh, well, I need to get a scroll of resurrection or whatever it's called. I don't remember where to do that from. This one. 200 shards if I'm... Oh, I need to get it from my my guy, which is, which is this guy. So I just need like 11 bucks and I can get that. Just to play, you know, just to not die. I don't want to sell it. Wait, we could sell... No, I can't sell this. So, that's our next task. Let's go to the Trade Guild. Do we have any money here? Find out how well my investment has done. Remains unchanged. Oh, big numbers give us more money. Ah. Wait, how are we supposed to get... I rolled an 8. How? So, plus 1 if initiate of the 3 fortunes. Plus 1 if you have information on the most profitable trading routes. Plus two if you know the best buys in Golnir. That's where that comes in. Okay, so I got a nine because I had plus one of the information. How am I supposed to get 18? I'm supposed to get the I like, uh, I get our 17. I guess if I had a bunch more pluses. Okay, at least it wasn't a loss of a bunch. Okay. If I take this back,
Uh, isn't this where my money is? Okay, I'm taking my money out of there. Because I want to put, I want to go buy a resurrection. It wasn't zero, though. Let's go to tier nine and get a resurrection arrangement. Okay. Thank you, sir. You're most kind. Blessing as well, please. Okay. Black Knight. We know where that is. That is up here. Yeah, let's go up there. Ooh, catch a smolder fish again. Smolder fish and fool around here. We gotta go somewhere up. Oh, that seems scary. Somewhere up here. The tavern again, which we don't care about. We wanna go, we'll go the main road. And we'll roll that one for being mistaken for a beggar, which got me 10 bucks. I'm not entirely sure where these guys are. We're gonna find our way there, I guess. We're back in Karan Baru. We got the slave before. Um, I'll check it out again. And we got a trowel here for a hundred bucks now. Excellent miner. I saw a place. <clears throat> I don't think I don't remember what it was just now or before we went to a place we could mine. Um, it might have been here actually. Yeah. I can pay 50 shards to mine for some silver. Sure. Start digging. No luck, your hour is up. You're gambling, basically. Wanderer across the wilderness to the northern western, northwestern Sakaar. There's a magnificent castle nearby with many different pendants flying from its tower. You draw near, you see that the pennants are all representing different colored dragons. Red dragon, black dragon, green dragon, so on. Outside the gates, a jousting list has been set up, and a few warriors are trying their hand against some knights who have dragon symbols on their shields. A knight in full plate armor rides up to you. Welcome to the castle of the dragon knights. It's our custom to joust against all who would come here for a wager, of course. You must be must bet the weapon. Must bet the weapon and suit of armor that you will use for the joust. If you lose, you forfeit the weapon and army. Armor. You win, you get the armor and weapon of the knights you defeat. Most used sword and plate armor. I'm just looking for the Black Knight. I'm on a quest. I'm on a quest. Uh, yeah, he he's here, replies one of them, but he fights only to the death. There is no wager to save the greatest of all for him. That is to say, life itself. All right. If he, um... He, black steel, he's got glowing red eyes. Yeah, I mean, he seems like he should be dying anyway. Got some stamina. Does a little damage. So I think the best thing probably going to be to get my bear out. Just fight him there. I think he attacks. His attack is four, so. <clears throat> Back up one. Bite him. My bear! Ah! Oh, that was a good hit. Seven damage. That new bow is pretty fancy. Just a, just a flesh wound. Right. Other knights are amazed by your skill. Hey, Blue Zest. How's it going? A zesty raid. All right. I love cats. Delicious. All right. Thanks, uh, thanks Zest. Uh, Blue Zest for the raid. You missed an exciting moment. We just killed the Black Knight. Other knights are amazed by your skill, and they seem quite pleased that the Black Dragon Knight is dead. He was an evil man, says the Green Dragon Knight. 
I take his shield. Hmm. As you watch the rest of your opponent's body dissolve into a foul-smelling foul smelling smoke, armor and all, you leave the castle. So, uh, those of you over here uh, uh, that are just joining us, let me, let me introduce, uh, sum up the game. <clears throat> we are playing... Uh, we are playing Fabled Lands, which apparently this is a book series thing of like choose your own adventure books, and it's now a game. It's coming out here in about a week. And um, my name is Nook the Fourth, but don't don't read too much into that. You know, just a funny little game I like to play. Uh, we're out marching across the land with with bow in one hand and magical bear in the other, killing black knights. Um, yeah, it's a book game. That's what's going on? Um, so let's go visit the main road, I suppose. You're crossing the wild country of Northeast Saqqara, heading for the main road. Let's roll the dice. Nothing happens. Okay. Uh, now, I think this stuff's kind of scary, but there's a citadel right here, and I kind of want to see it. Let's go over there. You arrive at the Pass of the Eagles, a thin chasm sliced right through the spine of Harkoon, as if Tyrnai himself had split the mountains with his sword. A vast citadel has been built right across the southern edge of the pass, bottling it up so that none can travel into Sakaar without passing through the citadel, or the castle. White walls and flag-topped towers shine brightly in the sunlight. The main gate is guarded by knights of the Northern Shield, permanent garrison of the citadel. Can I come in, please? How do you tend to enter? Uh, I'm just going to have a chat. The guards turn you away. A continuous stream of carts, pack animals, and the like, however, goes in and out of the citadel, carrying supplies. You could approach a trader and try to bribe him into letting you hide amid his wares. No, we're going to go chat. No, that doesn't seem to work. Uh, okay, I need an officer pass, apparently. That's the game's way of saying don't go there yet. No, definitely not because of that. Let's go to... There's a cave over here, and... I'm getting a little... Um, a little overconfident. Oh, this is not... You know what? We should go back and turn that in. Uh, we got to talk to that guy. He. What town is he in? He's going to give me a lot of... Oh, he's going to train me, too, isn't he? He's in Karen, uh, Karen Baru, which is there, right? Let's go back to there and get that, get that done. Uh, as I'm walking along the road, I got caught in an animal trap. Great, great. I'm a real hero, you know? Those kind of things I do. <laughs> Let's go to the town here. Alright, so this guy's in the shop here. Where is this guy at? Uh, you're in the sun. Where is he? He looks at you oddly, clearly unsettled by your question. Some say he's the son of a mortal woman and the god of Tyrani, but he has not been here for some time. Suddenly, he stops and stares in amazement at the corner of the tavern. You turn to look, and there, hunched over a stoop of ale, is Yarnit, Yarnit, Yanrit, Yanrit, the son. He greets you. Here's your shield, buddy. Plus one combat permanently. All right. You hand him the black dragon shield. You are indeed worthy, he says. I will teach you, and you will teach me your fighting ways, you ask. You've already learned as much as I can teach you. You realize that what he says is true. Your defeat of the black dragon knight has taught you much. Thank you, sir. All right. Look at me now. Combat plus eight. I think that's just going to be my... Look, my damage doesn't change any. I'm just, uh, I guess my... I don't really, really know. It's just a skill of fighting. I, don't, I guess that means like, offense. How much offense I or how my hit chance, I'm assuming, is what that all has to play into. <clears throat> so. Uh, let's go to the... He didn't give me your money. Let's go to the inn and, and have a little nap here. And then... Frequented by soldiers and mercenaries. Surely they've heard some rumors. He literally... He told us... Told us that the power was within us the entire time. <laughs> my bear, my bear did most of the work, didn't he? Interesting story about one of the Baroness's Ravane's knights in Golnir. Apparently, he's plotting against her. Intrigue and treachery in the court of the Baroness mutters a man before his voice fades to a whisper. These are just like lore. It's like the lore button. Uh, I don't have money for that, so let's go. Is my, my buddy here? Yeah, Tyr and I. I'm already an initiate. I will take a second blessing. No, I already have one. It says you already got one. Get out. Uh, well, then let's go. And we know there's some non some funny business over here in Cold Bleak. And I really want to go do I want to venture into that quest, but it's it's very hard. To go assassinate the king for some reason is a very hard task. 
I'll get a new title for doing it as well. We could try it. Um, we could also go buy some climbing gear and get up there and take out some devils, but that's why I died over there before. I don't know that I want to do that. Okay, where do we want to go? We can try... Um, I got torn up by the thing. I think I can handle it this time, though. The Gorlock, remember that? Over there in those uh, hills? I met a shepherd. He gave me another wolf pelt. <laughs> you remember me? He gave me a pelt just this the other day. There's a dragon over there. We won't mess with that. Uh, Alchemy shop, what do you what do you have for me? Oh, yeah, the potions. Uh, I don't have money for the potion of healing anymore. Okay. The tower. We can get some rumors. Now... Let's talk with this owner of the alchemist shop. Along with poisons, herbs, I can't. He needs an ink sack and 250 shards. If you pay the money and have an ink sack, he will make a potion of restoration. It can only be used once to heal all lost stamina points, cure, poison, and disease. Also needs a scorpion venom and 50 shards. Pay that and have some scorpion venom. He will make you a scorpion antidote. Okay. Uh, I know there's a bunch of nonsense down to the south. Also, those, those scorpion people are down there. We need to go deal with. Um, do we want to try this? I think we do. I'm going back. We're going to make a scouting roll up here. I made it this time. Let's scout this cave. We recognize the tracks of those of a legendary Gorlock. Remember that it is said to have backward pointing feet. The tracks are always... It leaves are always show the opposite direction. The Gorlock is currently inside the cave. Challenge it to combat or wait for it to leave. Let's wait for it to leave. Wait for an hour. At dusk, something emerges. It's the Gorlock. A beast with legs like a bird, a body like a reptile, and two short forelimbs, and a beaked, lizard-like head. You see that its two legs do have backward-pointing feet. The beast heads off into the hills, and you creep forward. With that out of the way, you investigate and find 500 shards, a mace, and a silver nugget. Oh my. Alright. I'm filthy stinking rich now. Village of the Blessed Springs nestled in the foothill. Yeah, yeah, let's go to the, uh, let's go to the tavern and share my money. Drinks all around. Discussing recent events, uh, some hideous beast has made its way to the cave. It's a Gorlock, says the farmer. It's, it's amassed quite a bit of treasure by all the accounts. A brave adventure like yourself could get rich if you killed it, or if I just snuck in there and took it. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Um, I can go to the Holy Waters. Do I want to go there? Do I care to pay for that? Significantly better. You're right. Um, I think I'm going to leave here. Oh, let's go to the fort up here. Let me something before. Fort Brylan, named after the Sakaran king of the First Dynasty, is the southernmost castle of the fortified wall that keeps out the rabid, savage man-beasts. Uh, with the soldiers fear most is that they call death duty. Going out on patrols beyond the wall into Naresh itself. Roads are patrolled by troopers of Sakaran army. The fort is so well supplied from Blessed Springs and traffic abounds. A peculiar find. You find a man beast's helmet. What? Oh, I gotta get rid of something. Let's drop this. I got one arrow here. Oh, here we go. I got a new hat. A lot of this, I think, has to do with me being on easier level. Um, I don't have any armor. Oh, yeah, those those mermaids stole my armor. I forgot about that. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Stupid mermaids. Can we go to the fort here and sell some things? One of three forts along the wall that runs along the border. The purpose is to defend Sakara against the ravening man-beasts. Yep, yep. My daughter Alyssa has been kidnapped by the man-beasts, he says. They're asking that I let her... Let one of their raiding parties through to attack the farmlands. I'm delaying my response as long as possible. If I don't do something soon, they will kill her. I need a brave adventurer to rescue her. Yeah, that's what I do. That's what I do. Damsel in distress. That's my middle name. It's very hard. I don't want to do that. I fought the Black Knight to the death while naked. Mm-hmm. 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 Here's this fertile farmland. I'm not a, I'm not a murderer. Oh, I found it. I found something. I found I found some armor. How lucky. How lucky. 
so not that I've played more than one game of this, but if I had, imagine how lucky it would be if my first three guys died horribly, and then this one is getting everything all going well. Just imagine that. <laughs> Alright, uh, I need a sword. If something gets in melee with me, I should probably... Oh, I do have a mace. I just got a mace. Never mind. Alright, lucky all over here. Um... I could get that climbing gear. Go deal with those those um, those de those demons. This one contains fighting secrets against multiple t opponents. When there are at least two enemies within two range, your damage increased by two. Is it melee only? It's brawler. I wish it said what it. It's, it's called brawler. That doesn't sound like something I would want. Maybe I could buy a mandolin. I think I just go, it can get you new friends or new bruises. <laughs> Plus one charisma. You never lose your way, provided your way it only goes north. I get plus one of scouting rolls with that thing. <gasps> You're right. You're right. I have an entrance fee for the sea dragon's attraction. You're right. You're, yes. That's right. Um, here. I don't want this. 150 bucks. I forgot all about that. Okay. We're going. We're going. Oh, 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 wait. I'll try this one more time. There's a trow here. I'll buy a trow. So given uh, the cage, the trow speaks to you so quickly that you can barely dis distinguish the syllables. Let me out of here and I'll reward you, it says. I can free him or sell him to the mines in the bronze hills. I'll, I'll, something good's got to come from this. Open the cage door. The wide grin suddenly appears at about head height within the dark shadows that wreathe the trowel. All you can see is a huge sliver of grin topped by two glooming red eyes. Free at last, gushes the trowel as it leaps out. Now for home, as much fairy mead as I can drink. With that, it delves into the ground so fast it's burrowed out of sight before you can do anything to stop it. Shrugging, you leave. Yeah, all right. yeah maybe he'll show back up. All right, we're going to the dragon. I have a resurrection thing. I'm fine. Okay. So we're going to go... Um, go fishing. 15 shards. Yeah, get me out there. So great bubbling and frothing of the lake disturbs your solitude. A massive scaly head the size of your boat erupts out of the ochre-colored water. I'm Vaeus, the sea dragon. It says in a creamy voice, tinged with evil greed. One silver nugget. Pay it now or face my wrath. Please give me something cool. Excellent, says the dragon, catching the nugget in one of its clawed forelimbs. With that, it rolls over and dives down into the lake. At the last second, its tail whips out of the water inches from your face. You could reach out and grab it if I wanted to. I certainly do. The sea dragon dives deep to the bottom of the lake. You are pulled along at a terrific rate through the murky waters. You think your lungs are about to burst when at last the creature surges upward, breaking the surface. You find yourself in a cave inside the rocky island, somewhere on the surface of the lake. A hole in the roof lets in a shaft of bright sunlight that reflects off the water, casting dappled water, yellow light all over the walls. Part of the cave is dry ground, heaped with the dragon's treasure hoard. Sparkling coins, swords, armor, and the like, you notice a rocky ledge lined with a number of bottles full of yellow dust. The dragon pulls itself on top of its hoard. You have a few seconds to try and hide. Oh, we did it. You remain quiet as a mouse behind a pile of coins. After a long wait, the sea dragon slithers into the water and swims out on some errand. You have some time to loot the horde. <laughs> I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. If I was my warrior, I would certainly take these. I probably should take the plate armor. Plus five defense. I. This is so hard. Um. I want my lock picking. Yeah, thief. Magic. Some magic lock picks. I want scouting bonus, or charisma bonus, or just money. 
Okay, if I had money, I could just go buy a boat. The mandolin gives me plus two charisma. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Most of the things are free lunch, but some free money can buy you one. I'll take the mandolin. After taking the three, third treasure, you hear the sea dragon returning. Quickly, you climb through a hole in the roof of an island. In the middle of the lake, from there, you manage to get to a passing boat and make it safely to Cadmium Village. So I was thinking, I was thinking charisma might get me out of that keen killing quest. Save me a little bit. Okay. Uh, oh, you want to buy these, do you? I will sell you my fish. Okay. Um. Did we tried this before. Didn't. Oh yeah, didn't get anything. Okay. Ooh, what? Wait, what's going on? Locals are behaving very oddly. You watch the village lay out a fine feast on their village green. A pig is set roasting on a spit. Loaves of freshly baked bread are piled beside bowls overflowing with fruits, butter, and cheese. Lastly, the richest, richest merchants of the village bring coffers full of silver, which they set beside the table. To your amazement, instead of sitting down to dine, the villagers then scurry home to start closing shutters on their windows. What goes on here, you ask? Why do you behave so oddly? The villager seems quite frightened of you, but one old fellow has nerve enough to reply. This banquet is for the ghosts of three travelers who lost their way in a storm, fell into our mill pond, and were drowned. When was this? Seven years since. They come every year on this night, and if we don't placate them with victuals and treasure, they'll be a mess of trouble. I know that. Old Megan told us, he says. She knows much about such things. I'm watching for ghosts. From the cover of a hedge, you wait until dusk, but by now... All villages are safely indoors with their shutters tightly barred. As the sky is turning from velvet indigo to the starlit blackness of night, you see three pale figures come lopping, lopping across the green from a direction of the mill, mill pond. They must be ghosts. Seeing the banquet, they utter gleefully cry, gleeful cries as they start to devour what has been set out for them. Ah, I failed. The moon begins to rise, making the ghosts seem to glow. They sit hunched over their feet like vultures, occasionally stirring their hands in the pile of silver coins and tittering eerily. I'm going to confront them. As you stride forward, they look up with expressions of luminous rage. Get back, mortal, warns one, or I'll touch you with my grave, cold hands and it'll be your dying day. I'm going to call my god to banish them. You hold up your arms and utter the mightiest prayer that you know. It has no effect... Three white figures pelt you with a barrage of plates and knives. Something heavy hits you on the side of the head and falls. you fall with a groan. The ghosts take advantage of this and snatch up the casket of silver and run off. <laughs> I knew I should have gotten them. You recover your wits and find that three figures have vanished, but you are sure now they were not ghosts. Get them. Burdened by the chest of heavy full coins, the three figures have left deep footprints in the grass. Got them. You follow the footprints to the mill where you can see an old lady and two men brushing flour off their clothes. Another successful year haunting, laughs the woman. Creepily, you creep back and tell the villagers what you have discovered. No, go kill them. Brimming with outrage, they go straight to the mill and seize the three miscreants. Old Megan, cries one of the villagers when he sees who is the ringleader of the three. So you've been masquerading all the ghosts for these seven years, eh? Well, tomorrow we'll take you to the gallows and then you'll pay for this part for real. These villagers are stupid. <laughs> you don't wait around to see what fate befalls old Megan and her accomplices. In theory, they should be taken to the uh, Assizes. I have so many new words I've learned tonight. The nearest town, but feelings run so deep in this case, you suspect there will be some rough justice. Made it out. Another another one. Rest of your journey. Man, I could probably have had freebies. Uh, before we go down... Well, we can rest in town. Okay. Almost got oh, another one of these dang fish. Okay, so let's go in. Let's do a little uh, nap. Uh, Merc, thanks for the follow. I missed you 20 minutes ago. Um, let's nap here in the tavern. 
And then... I think I'm pretty well set. I got my hat. I have my good armor on. Uh, I have my mace in hand. And... I think I'm set for, for, a, little, for a little bit of murdering. I think. Yeah, we would got away with it too if it wasn't for those meddling nooks. Okay, we'll sell that. Any cool magic things? It's just... Oh, archery. This is for... 3% crit, crit chance, plus 2... That's crit crossbows and slings. Swords and daggers, masses, maces and... Oh, wait, wait, bow, bow. Plus 30% crit chance, if I take this. Is it worth 600 gold? I kind of want that treasure map too. We'll take we'll take this one. Okay, so let's go back to here. Spend a lot of money on that. Okay, so now I'm a better bowman. All right, here it goes. Uh, you know what? Hang on. What if we save the game? Can I? Okay. Hey. So we have for several hours. We're going to convince him of our loyalty. Do I have to equip the guitar? Oh, it does. Oh, look at that. I thought they were. I thought they were just in my inventory. Ah, okay. Fail a charisma roll. Don't sound convincing at all. He dismiss dismisses me rudely. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let me try to bribe this guy. Takes your money and nods in the direction you must go. Okay. I need someone like you, he says. So he wants me to go kill Nurgen, which I know where Nurgen is. But Nurgen wants me to kill him. I'm going to attempt to slay him. To the provost you have of important news, best heard by him alone. He takes you to a side chamber without his guards. You exhale slowly, and all of a sudden, you leap forward and try to cut him down. No, I use a bow. Oh, I, I hit the number. Use a blessing. Okay, the gods sometimes smile upon the worthy. Ah, we got him. You cut him down. Hurriedly, you flee the palace. You cry. The cry goes up throughout the palace. Murder! Assassin! The hunt is on for you. You need... All your skill to get out of the palace alive. He's my blessing already. Eleven. We're lucky. You hide in the kitchen pantry, and then, disguised as a kitchen scullion, sneak out unnoticed. The skill and daring of your exploit will be forever remembered. Long live the rightful king. <laughs> the new uh, marshal of Yellowport is Roizer. He used to be Marlowe's Marlock's second in command since the assassination of the old provost. Roizer has ruled the city with an iron hand. Patrols are frequent and spies are everywhere. You will have to be careful not to get recognized yourself. I was waiting for it. There it is. <laughs> Alright, have a good one, Blue Zest. Thanks again for the raid. I appreciate that. Alright. Uh, that's, that's a high note to end the stream on. I, well, I, if I can go any further than this. I can't really go back there. Um, we should probably leave town and go tell him about the good news. He's going to be 500 shards and a new rank if I go back to this guy. So I got to go back to this guy and talk to him. He's going to be grateful. So let's go Let's go back to this guy and say, hey, we did your dirty work. And we use a dagger instead of, you know, my normal weapon. Something happens. That's all good. Let's head over to this happy spring over here. Um, I'll sell this fish. Two minutes later, you are forgotten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll buy this potion of healing. Theory plus one. Is this just until the next check? Okay. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah. People will remember you forever. Two minutes later, you are forgotten. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to Cold Bleak. That's where our buddy is. The old-fashioned way. I forgot to just buy some climb climbing gear, but we still made it. Okay, clamor up. Man steps out in front of you. He's clearly a soldier. Yada, yada, yada. King is overjoyed at the news. Excellent. At this rate, I'll be able to take my rightful place in the throne room of old Sukar. Reward you with the title King's Champion. I like the sound of that. Noted in the titles of honors of your adventure sheet, the title comes with a cash gift. 5,500 shards as well. I gain one rank. My maximum stamina points increase permanently by, by two, two points. Also gain a new skill. So what skill do I want? Pay attention to the requirements. So I can do archery, which I already have. Or defense plus one. I already have this one. Is it gonna is it stack? I'm gonna try it. I hope it stacks. The, your gaining rank has taught you much. You feel tougher, luckier, and generally able to deal with the trouble. King has another mission for you. He explains that an army of step nomads, Trow, Mannequin people, and Sakharin troops are still loyal to Nurgan. They've gathered on the steps and are moving to siege the citadel of Velas Karin, which guards the pass of the eagles through the spine of Harkoon. Nurgan tells you that an alliance of the northern nations has declared war on the new Sakharin regime. A certain general, Beladai, leads the northern alliance, and King Nurgan has joined forces with him. He asks you to travel to the steps and talk to General Beladai. Adventurer like yourself might be able to steal into the Citadel and bring out about its downfall from within, or some such. If the Citadel falls, we will have Sakara at our mercy. Why shouldn't I? Why aren't I in charge? I'm doing all the dirty work here. When you're ready, you're led back to the. Okay. Yeah, I think I think I should be the one getting all the uh, the run in this show. Okay, so we're gonna do this. I guess we're gonna learn it again. Uh, I already know it. Okay, let's worry about that. The other one's really of no use to me. Maybe the defense one would be nice. But if I'm needing defense, I'm kind of hosed. I have a number two. I do have a two there. Hey, I'm rank two. Well, well, all right. Um, I kind of want to go buy a boat. Let's see what that's all about. Um, so my quest is very hard red. Oh, that's the one. That's, he asked me to kill the other guy. I failed that one, right? Um, so you want me to do what? Kidnap my man beasts. I can try that one. That's over here. You want me to go into the steps into here and try to do that? That seems like a bad idea. Um, his quest was to send me into... Oh, here, right. No. What was his, his quest was to send me into the Citadel to get these guys, right? Uh, Jeremy, thanks for the follow. Why am I serving the guy who hires assassins? Hmm. These are the kind of questions I don't really ask. There's some sheep over here. I got lost. Uh, I don't know, though I just did a very hard task and I got, and I got it. Okay. So we know there's something nasty over here. Let's go get a quest for over there, I think. Take out those scorpion guys. I'm kind of worried about them, though. I like that my blessing back. Okay. Um, I could buy a house. How much does it cost to buy a boat? Oh, I can buy a boat right now. Only at Harbor's offices. Can I do this here? I could buy a boat. Uh, yeah! Okay, so I want a... I'm just going to take a bark. Okay, one bark, please. I would like to load up on... I don't know. Some furs. Okay, and the crew, we're going to get ourselves an average crew. Okay. Let's set sail. 
You board your ship, which is docked in the harbor. The crew give a drunken cheer as you come aboard. Where are we bound, Captain? Well, we're gonna go, uh, 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 with the, all these questions I wasn't ready for. Let's go to the coastal waters. Your ship is sailing in the coastal waters besides Yellowport. There are a number of other ships, mostly merchantmen, but there are a few warships of the Sakharan Imperial Navy. At least we won't be plagued by pirates with the navy around, says the first mate. Can we be pirates ourselves? Oh boy. <laughs> we found a storm. Heavy black clouds race towards you across the sky, whipping the waves into a frenzy. The crew muttering among themselves fearfully. If you have the blessing of Alvir or Valmir, which we don't, the storm hits with fuel full fury. Odds of survival depend on your, upon your ship and your crew. Uh oh. Okay, the ship didn't sink, but the mass splits. It's thrown about like flotsam and jetsam. When the storm subsides, you take stock. Much has been swept overboard. I lost my cargo units. Also, the ship has been swept way off course, and the mate has no idea where you are. We're lost, Captain. Which direction? Uh, that way. Oh, I was right. You, your unerring sense of direction, even at your sea, serves you well. Okay, where are we at? Watching YouTube content for a long time and thought uh, it's time to catch a live stream every now and again. My thoughts on V Rising. Everyone's playing that. I saw that. Jeremy, um... Thanks, by the way, for hanging out. I saw that, like, I got the code, you know, to play it, and I saw that everyone was playing the game. I looked at it, and it looks it, lo it looks all right. It's one thing that's a little bit, I don't, I don't know, the game looks like it's pretty, pretty fun, but I haven't played it yet, so, so I don't have any impressions of, of that. But I'm a little cautious always about games that come out with day one DLC, even if it's just, like, um, you know, like, pretty packs or whatever, you know, that kind of stuff. Nothing like, it's not like gameplay packs or anything. Still. <laughs> kind of rose me the wrong way, um, but I don't know. But I don't. I haven't. I've only seen a little bit of the game. I haven't played the game, so I don't. I don't know. And apparently, it's pretty good because everyone seems to be playing it. All right, so we're in around Scorpion Bight. I wouldn't want to put into land in these parts, says your navigator. The Scorpion men will take all we got in our lives too, given half a chance. We don't have anything anymore. A ship of bizarre design. A strange-looking craft is bobbing in the water. It's shaped like a cone, floating on its base. As you draw nearer, you realize it's made entirely of metal. Its sail, a huge piece of, piece of cloth, seems to have collapsed and is spread all around it. On the surface of the sea, great blue and white letters and some foreign script are painted on its side. You notice an opening in one of the sides. Well, <laughs> let's take a look. You maneuver your ship as close as possible and then take a rowboat over to the craft. Climbing inside, you find yourself in a small cabin, which is lit by a whining red and green light set into the walls. A figure lies sprawled beside an ornate couch. The figure, although manlike, appears to have silver skin and a big, round head. With one black, glittering eye, it seems to fill this whole face. Whatever, it appears to be dead. Quickly, you search the craft and find a kind of spear that fires steel balls from the end. Ah, I found a magic stick. Uh, where you may be meddling with Ship of Demons, you head back quickly. I think I just found like a... Um, a coffin or something. So my ship is in okay shape. I guess so. We don't have any, any cargo anymore because we lost it. So we need to go pick up some cargo. We could go east to the lane over there and buy something. And then head up north and see what we can find. Great white bell of canvas stretches overhead, gathering in the wind as a fisherman catch, nets catches the shoal. Making good progress. He whispers, sea of uncannily quiet and flat as a pane of glass under a gray-blue sky at night. However, the waters seem to have come alive with an eerie whispering. When your crew tells you that the sounds heard at night are the sea centaurs speaking to one another. I've met mermaids. I'm not scared. Let's, let's dock in here. Uh, I'm here to pick up some... Some gear. I can't afford anything. Hmm. This furs is all cheaper than I paid for it, isn't it? I paid like 190 for those those furs. Uh, I wonder if we can go to the market. I think I can sell. I had this gun. You don't want it though. You don't want this either. Well, aren't you just worthless? Um. Hmm. Alright, we'll keep selling. 
Uh, back to my boat. Space capsule? Is that what that was? To the Sea of Whispers. An eventful voyage is a good voyage. Okay, we're gonna go back to up north now. We're gonna go north up here. Another storm. No, <laughs> oh, please don't shit my. Okay, my mass is split again. We're lost at sea again. Uh, we're lost. Days without sight of land. You run out of water. The crew start dying of thirst. Uh oh. Where are we? Oh, we're way down here. You know what? Maybe, maybe we go west. Well, let's stop by Marlock City first. Get patched up a little bit. I like one from the the Apollo missions. Oh, you don't think they start throwing like sci-fi kind of stuff in here? You think you think that's where, where this is going? Maybe. You think I can buy here? Yeah, this is one ninety here. It was one thirty way over there. So we got we know where to buy the furs. Tickets. Oh, yeah. Um. They might buy my stuff. Is this just a waste? Probably. Anything good here? Raise the fallen. Not beneath you to disturb the ones resting beneath. Summon an undead warrior with combat 6 and stamina 8 to fight by your side. I need base sanctity of 7. What is my sanctity? three, so I can't do that. Interesting, interesting. Call upon holy fire. Okay, um, well, let's, uh, we're gonna wander around and maybe get some money. Let's visit, let's visit the, uh, the barracks. Drunken army officers accost you on the street. Shoo, what do we have here? Out of the way, you stinking dog. I return the insult. You rebel swine slurs one of them, not showing proper respect to the army, says another. That can't go unpunished. They wade into you, intent on beating you into submission. I don't think so. Ah. You are an accomplished street brawler, and after a few minutes furious fighting, the three officers are laid out unconscious in the street. Several people gather to watch the brawl. Most of them cheer at you for your performance. Marlock's troops have not endeared themselves to the population. You find 25 shards on the officers, and an officer's pass. <gasps> oh, we can go north now. Okay. Okay. Um, should I leave my boat here? And then just head up north? I kind of want to. Kind of want to go into that citadel. Okay, nothing happens good. Uh, we're going to go up to the riverbank. Oops, I didn't, mean to click. I didn't mean to click there. Pass through the forest here. Um, yeah, let's mine for silver. Ooh, I got silver nuggets. Alright. Go visit that dragon again. Attacked by wolves. Let me look at that. No, because that's my bow, that's my ammo. So I can I could use the bow, three to six damage. Cost five points. It's actually better than my bow, but I have the bonus of 30%. What's my... This thing doesn't do anything for me for that, does it? No. The thing about the bow is I can do the bow and I can do my mark at the same time. I think I'm going to keep the bow. I hope I find someone that can buy that. But wants to buy that, that, that gun. Okay. We got wolves. I know the gun's good. Um, 
But I can't, like this one, I can, this is two action points. I have six action points, so I can do this and shoot at the same time. That seems a much more beneficial use of my time, I think. Oh, wolves are easy. That wolf ain't so easy. Okay, good bear, good bear. Two bear pelts. Chuck a block, chuck a block. New words, new words all through this thing. I'm gonna throw away my uh, here. Put that arrow in there. Throw away nothing. I will show him my pass. Vast corridors and doors, fortifications of breathtaking sophistication. Huge cisterns are driven out of the bedrock of the mountains. Uh, we're going to go into uh, a large army led by General Belladai is camped to the north. The army of the Northern Alliance consists of warriors of the Horde. Yeah, we want to go see them. Citadel of Velis Corin, or the Shield of the North, seems uh, occupy the pass. Hello, Belladai. In between these gemstone hills and the citadel of Velis Corin, a vast army has made camp here, some miles north of the citadel, alive with activity, caravan supplies, camp followers everywhere. Remember that this is the army of the Northern Alliance, led by General Belladai. Belladai was a commander in chief of Corin of Sakar's army before Marlock usurped his throne. Usurped. Usurped. Now, with the new king in exile, made an alliance with the Horde of the Thousand Winds, the Trow, and the Mannequin people of the Sky Mountain, together they hope to take the citadel. Let's visit. The camp is huge. Nomad warriors, weaned mannequin people, soldiers of the king of Sakara, and, at night only, many trow rub shoulders here. The center of the camp is a wooden stockade where General Baladai and the other leaders of the army of the tents. This is well guarded. Let's go to the market. And no one wants to buy my stuff. Hmm. Everything good here? Ooh, that's nice. Same bow as what I've got. Chuckle block means all the space is filled. Like when you're trying to get into a store on Black Friday, the store is chuckle block with people so you can't get past. Okay. Uh, it's an easy matter to get around the camp. You are one among many attracted to the economic opportunity that it represents. Let's go visit Baladai. So we're, I guess there's, there's two stories here. We're on the Baladai story. We could have tried to sneak in and kill him. They're going to ask you to talk to Belladai. You see what assistance you could give him. The guards ask the stockade take you to Belladai's tent, large pavilion of purple silk. Inside Belladai, a tall, gray-haired veteran of many campaigns is there to meet you. His face is mixed into an expression of determined efficiency, like a granite slab. Around him are other leaders. Lek, wing warrior, chief of the mannequin people, is a small, purple-furred, bat-winged humanoid. Trow warlord, Merrick, mander, squats and shadowy corner, wreathed in shadows. Oleg Khan, a wiry hawk-nosed nomad. These are the good guys. Uh, you are our only hope... Obi-Wan Kenobi, growls General Baladai. A single spy could infiltrate the Citadel and open the Great Gate from the inside. I accept. That is good, pipes Lek. A trowel in the corner gives an enormous grin. Baladai puts you his hand on your shoulder and bores a steely gaze into your eyes. Do not fail us, and may Tyr and I guide you, he whispers. We will send a thousand of our best troops every night, under cover into darkness. As near the gates as we can, get undetected. As soon as the gates open, they will charge. Okay. Okay. Can I have some money? I got, I, got, I got a coin or two. Where's these gates? So... I'm, I'm missing where these gates are. Like right here, right? Uh... I so, meet you. Fix things. 
I'm going to the Citadel and open the great gate from the inside. So I'm going to go in the Citadel and do it. I'll check out... Yeah, sure. Let's go in the Citadel. I got my office pass. Um... No reason here, but we're going to save the game. Open the gates. That night you decide to make your move. You have to get to the great gate undetected and then onto the winch house, where the huge cogwheel mechanism is turned to open and shut the gates. The corridor of the Citadel are regularly patrolled. Regularly. Regularly. It's a word I can't say. Patrolled, but the lightning is poor and there are many niches and shadowy corners where the stealthy person can hide. Well, I'm a stealthy person. You sneak through the shadows of the knights to make it to the courtyard of the... Well, at the gates. On the other either side of the massive steel doors, stairways spiral upward to the heavy stone towers that flank the gates. The winch house is inside the tower on the right. You crawl up the stairs, unseen, until you reach the winch house. Inside there are huge cogs. Two guards on duty. Have to get rid of them slowly. Oh, I did it. Take them by surprise and cut them down without a second, without a sound. You heave down on the massive leather and the great lever, and the great gates begin to grind slowly open. Within seconds the citadel is in uproar. Outside the northern plain, a deafening shout from a thousand voices splits the quiet of the night. An elite force of Baladai's army charged the gate. Inside, the garrison rushes to the defense. In the confusion, you hope to make your escape. Oh, I should have gone over there to look. Otherwise... Lucky. Uh, plus three for explorer mode. Thank you, explorer mode. Baladai's men are fighting their way into the courtyard, but resistance is stiff. Uh, as the garrison reinforces the gate rapidly, a dozen soldiers rush up the stairs of the winch house to try to close the gates. You hold them off long enough for Belladai's army to get into the citadel. Not long before the garrison is overwhelmed completely and forced to surrender, the citadel is taken. I gained one combat permanently. After a few days, Nurgan and his court arrived to set up base at the citadel. I gained one rank. Uh, my defense is increased by one. You also add into the ability, one to the ability of your choice, scouting, or combat permanently. Uh, or any of these. Thievery. That's what I'm doing a lot of. Also gives me 500 shards. Okay. I'm in the guest of honor. All right. All right. All right. Um. Where do we want to go? That that's not there anymore. Let's go. I don't know. Things have changed now, right? There's an army in there. If you have no money at all, including the bank. So, uh, nothing can happen here, I guess, because we... So, the Civil War goes on. Now that the Lord of the Alliance holds the Citadel, the King hopes to push south to take Karen Baru. It's a long way off. <clears throat> when you're ready, you leave. Caught an animal, animal trap. The same animal trap as I was stuck in before. Okay. <laughs> um, check out the foothills. Let's climb them. The old fashioned way. I need uh, some climbing gear. Grueling climb some hours. <clears throat> Half the side of the mountain when you discover a thin, precarious path leading up. Take a swig of water. For a while, you take a stop to take more water. In your horror, your water supplies turn sour and undrinkable. Uh -oh. What's oh, bad? Gamely, you drive yourself on, but your thirst is becoming terrible, and soon you aren't able to continue. If you go on, you might die of thirst before finding a water supply. <clears throat> um, no, we got it. We got it. Ah, there we go. Struggle on. Only your iron will and hardiness will keep you alive. Eventually, the path leads to a bubbling well of spring water in the rocks. Just at the opening of a cave, you drink your fill, and soon you'll feel much better. Interior of the cave is cool and refreshing. Paradise compared with the savage heat of your grueling climb. You find a man floating cross-legged in the middle of the air. He's dressed only in loincloth, painfully thin. His face is shrouded in a great, luxuriant growth of glossy black hair. A beard like no other you've seen. Side of you, he gives you an exaggerated, exasperated sigh and says, I am Damor the Hermit. A hermit! That means I go like I live alone. Got that? Alone, so go away. I nearly died getting here, old man. You replied testily. 
Yes, you'd have to be pretty tough to get through the curse I put on the path, I suppose. I'm gonna wait for him to speak first. It was a greatest story quest. Tell you what, I'll teach you a few tricks and then when you can go away, what do you say? You got nothing to lose, so you accept. He wants a troubadour and he instructs you in his arts. I gained a charisma. He lifts you, lifts the curse that soured your water and I can make it back down the mountain. Alright. Cool. Disaster Bay. We won't go there. You know what? We're going to, we're going there. I need to get a rest though before we venture too far in there. Uh, where can I rest at? Maybe the farmers will give me a rest. They won't. But I'll get a some armor, which I can't carry because my bags are full of all kinds of loot. Um, I guess I'm gonna lose the fish. Just a common fish. I think that leather armor is worth more. I thought the wolf bought that. Oh, wait, that goes in my back. Oh, look at that. Well, what else? What else goes in places that I don't realize? Compass can go there. Gloves, ring, amulet, holy symbol, something like that. Okay. Let's rest at the inn. Okay, I'm going to go to the market and see if we can sell something. That can go... And that can go. And I'm going to hang on to the other things. Could buy a house for 200 gold and stash my stuff in there. Nah. What, we go, what if we go to this guy and tell him, hey, look, we're heroes now. I'll buy some climbing gear one of these days. We're a small group of now left here to act as raiders behind enemy lines. Thanks to your heroic actions, Citadel of Velas Corian is now ours. King has moved his court there. Go to the Citadel if you wish to speak with the king. I was there. He didn't have anything to say. Okay, we're going to Nerich. Damsel in distress. You ask the guards at the gate to let you pass. The gates swing open. A priest of Nagil, the god of death, steps forward and reads the last rites over you. I'm not dead yet! I'm not dead yet! You shout, shoving the priest's heart in the chest. As good as, he mutters, in between the chant of the rites of Nag Nagil. It's be one of those games that you need to sh save a lot, I think. Mm-mm. <clears throat> A uh, barren peninsula of wind blasted with rolling hearthland. The sky is dismal gray. A lone crow circles overhead, cawing mournfully. We know where we need to go. Looks like we're going uphill. Draw near the hill. Something steps into your path. It looks like a man, but its limbs are strangely twisted and its hands end in long black talons. Covered in matted gray fur, wears little except an ornate iron helm. Fashioned to resemble the head of a bird, it covers its head completely. Two red speck glint from within the helm. The man beast howls, and the sky comes after you. Pull the man beast's helmet over your head. Yep. As you slip the helmet over your head, which I have one of those, dozens more of the man beasts appear on the scene. But then your vision blurs, and your head begins to pound. The helmet is doing something to your mind, and it hurts. Uh oh, I'm gonna be bad at this one. I have a 2% chance of succeeding, and I did. <laughs> you feel as if the helm was trying to seize control of your mind, but you managed to overcome the insidious enchantment, and the pain dies away to a nagging itch. <laughs> I gain one plus one magic permanently. Resisting the strange enchantment helps you advance in your abilities in the arcane arts. Looking through the eye holes of the helm, you see the main beasts are ignoring you. Plainly, they are too stupid to realize you're not one of them. The Tan Hill turns out to be the lair of the man-beasts. It's honeycombed with caves, and you wander through them unmolested. You come to a large cavern, and at the far end, 20 people are locked up behind steel portcullis. One of the prisoners has been strapped to a table, and a woman dressed in black and yellow silken robes is fastening a dog-shaped beast helmet over his head. 
oblivious to her victim's cries for mercy as the helmet slides into place and begins to shudder. To your disgust, his limbs contort and twist as gray fur begins to sprout all over him. Soon he will become a mindless man beast and his mind destroyed and his body enslaved. The woman who is from a, a, a Katsurai spots you. You have been not been possessed, processed, she says in surprise. We'll see who gets processed here, you she-devil, you reply through gritted teeth. She smiles evilly and takes up a long-bladed spear, spinning it about in her head and body in a display of breathtaking martial skill. Yep, it still says very hard. I've leveled up quite a bit since then, though. Ooh, they're going to be kind of tough. There's the she-devil. Two to four damage. That ain't so bad. So, we got to go put my dog, my, my dog, my bear out. Not that one. Okay, bite. Good bear. Wait, you bite, bite harder than that next time. This might not end well. Don't insult my bear. Oh, she's got range. This might not end well. Might not end well. Might not end well. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. We're going to disengage and just run away until we can... Not die. Uh oh. Is that all maximum points? I guess so. Well, hit me for two. I can still hit you with one. I can hit you, can I? I wonder if I can just kill this guy. I'm gonna keep it disengaging. Oh, well. So that's what we want. He's still there. I can get my bear out now, though. If I put the bear... Maybe not. Wherever I go, he's going to follow me. I can't put the bear there. Why can't I put the bear there? Um... Bear's gonna go right there. Fight bear. Okay, good. Kill the bear. Good. Good. Oh, bad. Is he ready? Oh, I only have two uses per... Oh, I only have two uses per combat. She moves. She has four action points. I got her. Got it. <clears throat> I'm very happy for winning easy mode. It's tough, though. She falls at your feet. You release the prisoners who cannot believe their good fortune. Among you, I can't either. Among them, you find Alicia, the daughter of the fort commander. She tells you the woman was Chizoka from some secret sect called the Black Pagoda in Akatsurai. Uh, you take the spear. It's, it's a Naganata. You also find a seal of the Black Pagoda. Sure, sure, sure. Now that she's dead, the rest of the man-beasts don't know what to do. They mill around aimlessly. Praise Maninti! You lead Alicia and the others to safety. They return to their homes and take... You take Alicia to Fort Estgard. Reward you with combat training. Plus one combat training. A tearful, joyous reunion, all thanks to you. Well, you know, I did what I, I, did what I could. Uh, what are the kind of goals we have here? It says we have six of... There's 40, I guess, quest goals. We have 10 com character goals and 22 exploration goals. I'm still only in... One, I'm in only in this, this little region here. I've, I've dabbled in Golnir. Most time is in Saqqara. Uh, there's a giant... The Great Steps are there. We have Old Harkuna over here and Utaku we haven't been to. There's a big turtle over there somewhere. 
um, Sorcerer's Isle, the Violet Ocean, all kinds of stuff. The Isle of Mystery. So many things that I uh, haven't explored yet, but I kind of want to go to bed. And I think that's probably the best place, best place to call it a day. This one, we'll go. We'll go pop over there real quick to see if I miss anything. With that, buy a mandolin for a hundred shards. I have a mandolin. I guess I could buy it and sell it. Hundred cheap. No, it's not. How much did I pay for that? Maybe I think I paid. I don't know what I paid for it. Nah. All right, Disaster Bay, where you find a community of fishermen. Judging by their wealth, they also make a living by other means. Expect by looting the ships that they get wrecked by the stormy waters of the bay. Offers you to buy a boat safely through the bay. Take you by a boat safely through the bay to the north of the port of the steps up there. No, no, no. Just keep walking. Let's peek, it. Let's peek in on this. Storm missing stamina. That's what I like to do here. It's a long way off when you're ready. So yeah, I guess we have to go in and press on other story elements before we can really do much more of that. I think I'm gonna end it here though. This is a good place to end it. We've saved the day. Um, we we got to sail around a little bit. We didn't get to see the cool turtle, but um, it may or may not have died a few times. What an interesting game. This comes out here on the 26th of the month, and I'm gonna save it. I may come back to this, because I am enjoying this thoroughly. But, we'll head to the main page here. And I think that's... If there's anything else I missed here. That's it. Okay. Interesting, interesting game. And there's just the extras, right? Yeah, we've, we've, we've earned 14% of the game, apparently. All right. So, I'm going to head to bed. Thanks again for hanging out for a stream. This is Fabled Lands uh, by Prime Games. Comes out here on the 26th. Or comes out full release on the 26th. It's out now uh, in early access. But on the 26th, it'll be full release. And I am going to go look up some of those game books. Because I'm really cu I'm really curious about how how they work. And just how like they're lauded as being... I'll use, I'll use new words tonight, too. Uh, as as being very open world, choose your own adventure things, and I think that's fascinating, and I want to I want to see how it looks. But anyway, let's call it a day. So um, thanks again for hanging out for the stream, and uh, tomorrow night is D and D night, and then Saturday night will be um, Saturday night Sunday morning will be the um, another stream. Um, but uh, anyway, thanks for hanging out. Um, I so I'll be here. Um, sorry, wrong button. Um, there we go. That's the right button. I'll be here um, tomorrow night, a little bit earlier for D and D night, and then I won't be here tomorrow this time. But then the two nights from now, I'll be back streaming something. 